and I am here. Happy days. Well, hello, Cot Sky, White Wavy Jesus, <laughs> Mr. Lamprey. Hello, hello. Hello, Temetry, Scorched Red Naru. Hello, hello. Yeah, happy days indeed. An apple a day keeps the aiming bug away. Apparently so. But unfortunately for myself, I don't eat a lot of apples because I'm a banana man myself. So all the aiming bugs. Yeah, I was half expecting it to be an enshrouded week. See, if I had the choice between the two currently, I would stream enshrouded. I'm having a lot of fun with that game. Like, both multiplayer and solo, it's just really good. But, I've gotta, like, put the ball and chain back on my ankle for another week, because if I don't continue doing my marathon game, I'll never get it finished. I'm like, oh, fuck, I gotta get back to this fucking game? Ugh. I gotta do my marathon run again? So, yeah, we're back on this one, because I want my million. <laughs> I'm addicted to Entrouded. Oh, it's so fucking good. Yeah, it's really good. I, Gamer was messaging me, like, yesterday and the day before, and we were just, like, taking the piss. He's like, oh, fucking play better games. And I looked at him, and he was playing in Shredder as well. I was like, oh, you're, you're, you're tasting games of shit. I bet you play a rogue unironically. <laughs> but yeah, it's really fucking good. Really good. But, um, I haven't gotten super far into it so far. I've been playing with some friends on the weekend. I think I'm like level 11 or 12. And we've just gone through... Oh, I can't remember what the starting area is called. Spring something something. And then we've just gone a little bit further north. And I think we've just made copper tools. But yeah, really good fun though. Did he really enjoy it last week? Oh, it's great. Yeah. Yeah, and... Yeah, I need to get this finished as well, yeah. Because, I mean, as soon as we finish this marathon game and we get to a million kills, I can play sprinters almost exclusively when we're doing Project Zomboid so we can go for the sprinter record then. Because I'm kind of half-assing it when I play sprinters. I'm not, like, fully invested. Because I'm, like, focusing on this as well. But then I can also stream a little bit of, like, Enshrouded as well, which will be nice while we wait for build 42. Yeah. So when are we going to get the million? That's the question. To be fair... I said when we started doing it, it should be the end of February. I think I'm still on track. Let me just whip out the old calculator. Because I'm just curious. How close am I? What do I need? I need 100 and 139,861. So 19 more streams, minimum. I might, uh, yeah, it's between 17, 17 and 19 streams. Cool. So, yeah, three and, three and a half to four weeks, more or less, of my, my stream schedule currently. So we should be done before the end of February. So it's less than a month now. Um... I should have this done within the next three, four weeks. And to be fair, we'll probably just power through all the way now. Because I normally start burning out on this after about three weeks of playing non-stop. But if I get within, like, let's say 50,000 of the million, I'll just be, like, super into it. The second I can see that finish line, I'm, like, right next to it, I'll just power through all the way. So that's the plan. Let's get that weight fixed as well. Yeah, it's science time temperature. Yeah, I gotta get that schedule put down. I gotta mark it down in my Google Calendar when I'm gonna hit the million. <laughs> Are we gonna make it in time? Yeah, I mean, Build 42 is supposed to, like, they, they're trying to get it out within the first half of this year. That's what they've said, the developers, that is. But if they get it out within, like, the next month, I'll be, like, super surprised. I don't think they're going to do it. Um, I reckon they'll be true to their word. I reckon they will probably get it within the first half of this year, if nothing goes wrong. But I don't think it's going to come out within a month. I'd be really surprised if that happens. 
A wild goat, yeah, nearly there. You are the goat. Appreciated. Also, hello, Swick. You're gonna die uh, within 1,000 due to misclicking at 820. I was like, whoopsie daisy, I accidentally ate 22 poisonous maggots. <laughs> Right, uh, I need to get my sleep and everything fixed. Uh, but yeah, that's all good. That's good timing. Right, let's get some sleep. And then I'll sort everything out in the mornings. I don't even know if I have any spears. Because I can't remember what we were doing last time. <laughs> and before the bonsai poop salad, yeah. Where are all those spears I just made? Where did all the my maggots go? Why do I hear buzzing inside my stomach? <laughs> right. Um. Okay, I used all my spears last time, apparently. Cool beans. Let's make some more spears straight away, then. Let's just get that one done and done. I'll get my fishing done first as well. And we're nearly out of winter now as well, so the debuff's nearly over. But yeah, what type of build are you using the rep on Enshrouded? You got me, like, thinking about the game now. <laughs> what type of, like, build have you gone for? So I'm having a lot of fun with... a tanky build at the moment. Almost exclusively melee, and it's just... It's a mix between... Uh, my single-player character is a mix between Battle Mage, Tank, and I think Barbarian. So he just has passive healing going on 24-7. He's, like, regenerating, like, about 13, 15 health per second. And he's got so much armor that he just doesn't fucking die. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> yeah, I'm curious what you would be running. Also, let's just fill you while I'm here. Yep, time to clock in. Yep, digital lampreys, guys, time card. Back to work, back into the factory. Interrupt is an addiction. It is, it's really good, isn't it? What type of character? I'm assuming you're playing it as well, then, Ali. What type of character are you running? So I'm dead curious what people are running as their character builds at the moment. Yeah, water aura and a bunch of uh, triggers on magic crit, so everything dies nice. So there was one I was looking at. Um, I can't find a way to like, I can't see a good combination for it, but I was going to do water aura for the passive healing. And then I think it's down the warrior tree. There's another skill to increase your crit chance by, I think, 15%? And then with the weapons that you can get as well, you can get roughly, like, an extra 5-10% as well. So I was gonna do that, and there's a skill you can have that, uh, instantly gives back 5% of your health on a critical melee hit. So I was just gonna try and go for that, go for a one-handed one attack, get the skill that increases sword and axe uh, swing speed. And then just spam attacks and just see if you can just keep procking the 5% constantly. And then have the, uh, the water aura in the background as well as a safety net. <laughs> I love tank builds, they're great. Are oh, you going archer? Okay, fair, fair. Acid, uh, acid by one shots bosses. Because it's so broken, <laughs> I don't think I've seen Acid by. I don't think I know which one that is. I'm going to be testing out passives later today. Yeah, there's quite a few skills in there that have um, some pretty spicy passives. There's also quite a few like really good triggers as well. I want to see if there's any good synergy between them. Because I was looking at... What was the other one? Um, I think it was under the Battle Mage tree. There was one for... Uh, getting, like, some form of multi-hit with casting on a crit, I think. I can't remember what the wording was, though. Yeah, the triggers stack up like crazy. Yeah, it's it looks really fun. 
trying to find a good build for it. Let's just have all of you because you're all tiny. Hey, GL. Hello, hello. Yeah, it's all good. Nice and chill. The tooltips light? Oh, do they? Oh, rip. Lots of testing, then. Uh, you ran a warrior with Emma. But being an archer is great. Never need to worry if I, if I don't get hit. Yeah, that's fair. So I was playing with some friends on the weekend, and one of them was going more into healing. He was running water aura. And that's more of my, like, solely, like, tank build. And it was Greg's. We, we fucked up. We were doing the, the Wyvern boss. And all of our weapons were broken, so we were all just slapping him with our bare hands. But because of his water aura, he had no health and no armor, so he just kept dying constantly. But the water aura still procs, even if you're dead. So we were just huddling around his dead body, just getting the passive healing while we're all wailing on the boss with our bare hands. <laughs> it was really, it was really fucking dumb. That's great. Oh, there's one of them. Yeah, leave him dead on the floor for the healing buff. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> It's like, please, revive me. No, you're more useful to us dead. <laughs> yeah, that boss fight was a shit show. It was great. I know, multi here, how could you? Hey, exclusively on other games, okay. Sounds like all the cool kids are playing in Shrouded. Don't understand <laughs> the language anymore. Oh, in Shrouded, it's really good fun. It's really good. The base building is amazing. Of every game I've ever played that has any form of base building, in Shrouded does it better than anything else. There's nothing that comes even remotely close. The base building is just so much better. You make me want to play. I am going to be playing in Shrouded after I finish streaming today. <laughs> I'll be straight back on it. Pay tribute to them? Teabag, yes. The more you bag them, the more the water aura will heal you. The tooltip lies. <laughs> Is there a difference between right-clicking chopping trees and attacking them? Yeah, so there's still a bug in the game. Um, if you use the chop down tree function, you're basically doing the same thing twice. So if I right-click and cut down tree and do it this way, first and foremost, I'm not getting the bonus from my axe swing, so I'm not swinging as quickly. Second, it's going to be using like twice the durability and twice the stamina. So you're basically just doing the same thing twice and getting the result of doing it once, so... Always cut down by cutting it manually. It's just quicker, safer, and uses half the durability and half the stamina. So I'm pretty sure the stamina is still a thing. Might be wrong on that part. several bases for your NPCs. Haven't done up the mega base yet. You try to be productive. Uh... Ripple your old axes, yeah. Uh, at least you don't now. Yeah, it's a bit silly. Hopefully they'll patch it when 42 comes out. But still, even if they do patch it, I prefer cutting down trees manually. Honestly, just because I can, I can be as far away from the tree as possible. Because the only thing I don't really like with that is if you cut down a tree like this, they're going to stand you right next to the tree. But if I stand all the way back here, I can still hit the tree, but I'm just so much further away. I just feel a little bit safer. And plus, I'm already like aiming as well, so if anything comes out of the tree line, I can just give them a good old smack. I don't need to be productive, but the rest of the group does. I just want to build my house. Yeah, it's a shame that we couldn't get the 
dedicated server worker. Ah, well. Right, uh, I'll definitely be more than that. <laughs> Before it's, yeah, target tree instead of zombie. See, I've only had that happen, like, once to me. But I always put it down to be, like, having a skill issue. I think I was swinging a spear at the time, and instead of hitting the zombie that was in front of me, he hit the tree instead. And I was like, ooh, spicy. Hit the car instead of the zombie, yeah. Ah, uh, see? I've had people ask me every now and then, like, once or twice, when I've been refueling my car by the gas station, and a single zombie will walk up to me. And I'll walk out of the gas station, let them follow me outside, and then I'll kill them. They go, like, why do you walk away every single time? And it's like, because I've had so many times where I've tried to hit a zombie next to my car, and for some reason my character will insist on stabbing the trunk instead of hitting the zombie. So I'm like, no, I'm not standing next to that fucking car. <laughs> Never again. I've had so many close calls where I do, like, the bloody spear animation, and he'll just stab the car instead. Hey, Lin Linden. Happy days. Oh, rip. There he goes. Yeah, appreciate the sub. Four months. Chew the trees like a based beaver. I'll ask Techno Beaver what his technique is. Although I think he might like get the wrong idea if I ask him what's his technique for chewing wood. <laughs> Instantly blocked. Alright, let me grab some sheet ropes. Appreciate the 15 as well, Casey. Happy days. It's been a very long time. Can give it another go. Not sure if I can get the save over. Don't want to lose all that progress. Yeah, that's fine. I was going to start a new character today myself. Like a single player one, just so I don't like... Because I know what I'm like with you guys. Like... It's like when we played Ark, and it's like, oh, we've all played Ark Survival Evolved for the first time. So it's like, oh, did you have fun playing? It's like, yeah, so much so that I stayed up the entire night, and I've been awake for about 48 hours just playing on the server. <laughs> and I was just a much higher level at the time. But yeah, I don't want to do that this time. I don't want to ruin it. So I'll end up being, like, a super high level compared to the rest of you, and then I'll just end up one-shotting everything. Bit sweatier, yeah. It's almost as if he plays video games full-time. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but I'll be starting a single player one tonight. Just so I don't get too far ahead. You run almost the end of the other day, you walked into a house and triggered a bomb booby trap in West Point. Is that still a thing? Made out with a laceration on your neck and a burn on your thigh. Had like 5% health bar. I thought that was gone. I didn't think that was still in the game. Like the, the traps that is. Is it still only like the annotated maps that spawn those in? Cause I don't think I've ever actually run into any of those. Fair. Join the dark side in my world. How far through are you on your run then, Rhett? Because I've seen... Uh, who do I keep seeing pop up? On my Steam list, I keep seeing... You, Gamer, and Molly Gets Mad popping up. It's, what's he changed his name to now? Fuck okay, he changed his name to something else, didn't he? I keep seeing him... I recognize his bloody profile picture. What have you changed your name to? Molly gets bored. Fair. <laughs> but yeah. I keep seeing all three of you popping up. I assumed you're all on the same server together. Did 
Plans the last night for multiplayer until the weekend, if you're interested. Oh, okay. That's why I want the server, so I can play fair. Um... I'll probably just be on single player tonight. I'll probably wait until the weekend before I join again. But you guys are welcome to play without me. Alright. And one more. Don't recall your PB. Are you close again? Oh, so... PB for kills were miles past it now, so the PB used to be 735, we're now on 860. Um, PB for survival time though, uh, I am miles away. My PB for survival time is 10 years, 3 months, so we're like barely over halfway. Alright, oh dear. How far did you get? Oh, what, well, on um, Enshrouded? I think I'm at the same place Rhett is. Oh, wait, no, maybe not. No, kill the Blue Drake thing and then the story boss after it. No, so I did the... Uh, the Wyvern yesterday with my friends. But then we came off uh, pretty much immediately after that. Because we were just doing, like, side quests the entire day, pretty much. <laughs> All we were doing was just running around trying to upgrade our gear. And just doing, like, miscellaneous quests and the quests for, um, the workshop NPCs. Once you upgrade uh, the alt, your alt, you're only like an hour behind me. You're pure questing. Fair. So much potential. I'm excited to see it grow. Yeah. The thing I'm interested in, uh, one of my friends saw it yesterday. Because I haven't seen it myself. But if you go to the edge of the map, it says, oh, this is like, you've, you've reached the end of the map for the early access or, you know, um, the early access build or something. And it's like, are they going to make the map bigger? Or is it just poor, poor wording on their side? Because the map's fucking huge already. It seems like it. Yeah, because the map's absolutely huge. And if they're going to make it bigger, that's hilarious. They want to make it 64 kilometers squared. That's great. <laughs> I hope they do. Yeah. That will be hilarious. Because... I've barely seen any of the map, personally. I think I've only been to two biomes. It's, it's the, um... I, I forget the name of it. The spring... Fuck it. I got the achievements for it. Let me just bring it up. <laughs> I forgot what it's called. Uh, where are you? Where's it shrouded? There you are. Where's my achievement list? Uh... Yeah, uh... Revel Woods, mind everything in Revel, Revel Woods, and Springlands. So those are the two biomes I've been to. I haven't been to anywhere else, though, yet. That I know of. It really does feel huge. Yeah, it's why I wanted to start a single-player game, personally. And just play solo. Just because the map is so big, I want to, like, go through everything very meticulously and try and find everything. Because the map's so big and it's all been handcrafted, so it's like, fuck, I want to go everywhere. And scour the lands for everything. And you can make map markings on it as well, as far as I'm aware, so I can actually track things. You got me curious about the uh, traps and the annotated maps? Yeah, I'm not... 100% sure how the trap things work. As far as I'm aware, you can spawn those trap houses in with annotated maps, but I don't read them, really, because I don't have any interest in the gear they offer. So, I haven't seen them myself. 
And I don't know exactly how they spawn. It's a bit of a gap in my knowledge. Gotta run to the store real quick. Hey, no worries. I'll catch you later. Yeah, all the crafting upgrades from the Wildlands, but you legit haven't found the ore. Fair. <laughs> You're looking at the code now. Spoilers inbound. Nice. Rick makes uh, the mods. Fair. Fair. Yeah, now I've heard about the trap houses and stuff. I don't, like... I'm trying to remember a time I've ever seen them, but I can't think of a a single time I've ever got into a house and had it been booby-trapped. So I've seen, like, videos of, like, the smoke grenades and stuff going off, but I haven't ever had it happen to me. I don't think so, anyway. It's almost all of it. There's two trap houses, one in West Point, and the other is in Martridge. Okay. And they're... I'm assuming they're both spawned in via annotated maps, then. Interesting. I'll be spawning until you read the map, yeah. Or unless someone reads the map in multiplayer, that's fair. Thanks. I never really read the annotated maps, just because... The houses don't really have anything to offer on runs like this. But... Now that I know they definitely spawn trap houses, I wouldn't read them anyway now. <laughs> Fucking pipe bomb goes off in my face on a marathon game. Rip. Get rid of all of this. Right, that's all of that. Treasure hunt mod with a mod. Uh, where a mod I can specify custom treasure hunts. Chained annotated maps. Oh, that's cool. With loot uh, you care to define. That's awesome. Little side quest. Love it. Right. Let's get all of these sorted up. Nice. And let me just move you for a second. Just so I know exactly how many spears we've made. And then I can add them to my counter. Right. Uh, 
need to just get rid of that for a second as well. Oh, yeah, grab those ones as well. Might as well. Um, up to 60 bucks is cool. Might even do some shooting today, so we're nearly on 20 boxes, and that's normally when I start going through some of my ammo. Yeah, let's start getting some of these made as well. Uh, yeah. I can send people to their doom. Wonderful. Right, and let's get some sleep, and then we'll finish up in the morning after fishing. Oh, one whole kill. Oh boy, it's a new PB. I can't remember who it was, but you were watching yesterday. You didn't, do you see someone take a full speed car wreck into that goddamn Louis full box? <laughs> nice. May they rest in pieces. <sighs> Let's change you as well. Back from eating. Oh, back from eating good today. Just feeding them all the knives. Uh. Right, before I carry on, though, I will be back in five minutes really quickly.
Right. And I'm back. I had a sudden epiphany. I remember telling my housemates that I was going to feed their cats. <laughs> and I was like, fuck. I was supposed to do that this morning. You just noticed the mask is crooked? No, no Spiros, no it's not. Don't don't tell people that, because now everyone's gonna see it. <laughs> Alright. You forgot to feed them? Yep. They ate my cats. Right. Spears and food. It's also the wrong colour. It's meant to be white. Ah, yes, it's also upside down, isn't it? Rip. <laughs> My viewing experience is ruined. Literally unwatchable at this point. Ugh. What about you? Awesome. Alright. Let's cook the food, and then we can finish making our spears, and then go have a Quick session of killing, because I need to find out where all the zombies are again. Jog my memory. Go stab little puddle. It's part of the lake, okay? You know. It's all the same thing. <laughs> also, it's not a little puddle, okay? It's average sized. Stop trying to shame my puddle. Nice. All the weight gain. Hello, Periwinkle. Hello, son. How are we today? Cool. That's all done. Get rid of you, and then we'll add all those to the spear counter and see how close we are now to the 10,000 mark. That's a cold one today. Rip. How cold is it where you are? It's nice and warm today for me. Then again, I haven't left the house yet. <laughs> it's a nice toasty 20 degrees where I am. So, ah, perfect. <laughs> right, 241. Let me add that to my counter. Oh, we're so close to 10,000. <laughs> I'll have to make a couple more in a second. Also, where is my, uh, where is my beer counter? There he is. So we're on nine, 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 eight.
Oh, I gotta, I gotta very quickly make two more. Gotta find two branches. <laughs> There we go. We have now made 10,000 spears. We are now a master at making spears. <laughs> Perfect. Boom. To the pile. I'll probably have to move my counter as well a little bit. It's going to overlap with my survival time, I think. Let me quickly adjust you. Uh, rip, rip, rip. Stop snapping, you fuck. <laughs> oh, I gotta like use the bloody transform commands because you don't, you don't want to be working properly. Just slowly shuffle him. There we go. Just move you across a little bit. It's like moving something in Word, yeah. <laughs> spicy though, we've made 10,000 spears. Very spicy indeed. That's so many spears. But we should be, um... We, we did the math for it before. We should be on a million kills when we get to about 11,000. More or less. Including all the kills we're going to get with firearms. It should be between 11 and 11 and a half thousand. It's very good. That pretend moment badge, yeah. It's a shame that we can't do that anymore. You can't? No, they... Twitch decided to get rid of moments for some reason. Like, they introduced moment, uh, moments, which is just a fancier version of clipping. So you get like a little moment badge, you know, the one that you've got currently. And they had a really shit rollout with it because they didn't really advertise it at all. And then they just decided to get rid of it. I don't know if they're going to bring it back in the future, but yeah. It's a shame because we used to like make little moments of that, really. It was all good fun. There's a weird fetish for some spears. Goddamn right. I don't try and hide it. I am what I am. <laughs> Everything for the spears. <laughs> they, yeah, they can't, they can't make revenue on it. It ain't making money, boys. Scrap it. My badge is premium stuff. Yeah, you can't get that badge anymore. At least not at the moment. Yeah, only available for a moment. And we don't judge you for the length of your spear, only the quantity. Right. My decoy cock should be somewhere down here. I don't imagine we went too far last time we were live. Eh, uh, we might as well kill you though. 
Just so I can have a little bit of a warm up before we start finding the big groups. <laughs> you make love like a Japanese meal, so many portions. Uh, small portions, but so many courses. Love it. <laughs> Nice little warm-up. Yeah, the goal today is to try and hit 867 minimum. And then if possible, we'll try and get a little bit more than that and try and push for 870. Or as close to it as we can. Yeah. So if we do 7,000 minimum, we've only got 19 more streams of this run. Including this one. So close to the finish line now. So close. Feels like nothing in comparison now as well. This is the 151st time we've streamed this run now. <laughs> it's like 151 streams, 90, uh, 19 to go. Doesn't seem so bad when we put it in, uh, put it like that. Good stuff. So yeah, kill these few, and we'll go further south. Imagine this challenge uh, without respawn. Uh, this challenge is without respawn. None of these guys respawn. It's like once we kill all of these guys, they're gone forever. Wait, what? Yeah, there's no, no respawn whatsoever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's because we're on time 16, so there's millions of zombies on the map. But most of them are on, like, the outskirts, so... All of these guys... I mean, we'll pull it up on screen really quickly. Um, all of these guys that we have here currently are from this area, down over here. So we've already cleared Muldra before, and uh, everything around here as well, all of these guys are dead. So everyone that we're fighting currently, we've pulled them up from the south and the east uh, via our car engine noise. So they've all been slowly making their way up, and then no doubt there's some from Bartridge that have also made their way up as well. So, that's who we've been killing this entire time. None of them have been respawning. There's just a tremendous amount of them on the edge of the map. But, for the last few streams, they've been thinning out quite a lot. So we've been getting further and further south. So it shouldn't be too much longer, maybe like a week or so. Maybe two weeks. And we should be able to get all the way down to Marchridge. Holy <laughs> shit, my mind just exploded, yeah. It's it's kind of funny, because there's so many zombies on the edge of the map, it does look like they're respawning half the time. It's like, oh yeah, this guy stayed in the same place for like... Uh, probably like a month or two now. Or probably like 
two two or three months in real life now. We've just been killing in Moldra and we haven't gone anywhere else. So it feels like there are respawns on. It's like, oh yeah, he can't push because they're respawning too quickly. That must be it. It's like, no, there's just a stupid amount of them. <laughs> But it's all good, though, because we are winning. We are slowly getting past them. But it doesn't matter too much where they come from, just so long as the kill counter keeps going up consistently. That's all that really matters. Because we just want to get to a million kills. And then adding on to that, we also want to uh, pop level 10 aiming and level 10 reloading, so... If we can get plenty of police officers as well, that would be ideal. So I think currently I need... I think I still need like 60, 70 boxes of shotgun ammo to get to level 10 aiming. But we'll reassess later because I'll, um, I'll probably do some shooting today if I can find a big enough group. I'll grab all my ammo and then we'll go through what we currently have and see how many more shells I actually need. Yes, more blood. All the blood. Hello, Spaz. Thanks. I've kind of forgotten how much ammo I need. Uh, if you buy the car by the PlayStation, will more police zombies as the virtual? Yeah, no, we we already know that. I don't want to take advantage of that though, because it's like super greasy. It's it feels cheesy, like making them spawn like that. But if I get close to a million kills and I'm still like tons of ammo away from getting to level 10 aiming yeah i'll take advantage of that but i'd prefer not to do that personally yeah if i get up to like let's say 950,000, and i'm still like i don't know let's say 40 40 50 boxes away oh katana nice then yeah i'll try and force them to spawn as police officers but I'd rather not, if I can help it. Also, I'm just going to ditch you for a second so I can have a proper rest. Is that intended? Those amounts of zombies? Yeah, that's by design. I'm assuming they're temporary. But, um, yeah, if you're playing like a normal game with normal zombies that don't have pinpoint hearing and all of that type of stuff... You'll never see those zombies, really, on the edge of the map. Because there's no reason to go out to those areas. And there's only, like, three roads that lead to the edge of the map. There's, like, one by Riverside on the west side. There's one south of Martridge, and then there's one east of Martridge. So those are the only roads that will, like, take you to where all those zombies are. But there's nothing down there. So unless you're just exploring, you'll never really go out to the edge of the map and find all of those guys. Get up quick as the best mod ever. Ah, oh, we don't use that personally. It's a convenient mod, but if there's some... If if there's a way to do something in vanilla, I'd rather just use vanilla, personally. 
So if you just hold shift, you just stand up quickly anyway. Oh, hello. There's quite a few of you over there. Cool. Let me go down close to my car again then, so you'll go back to the right spot. More code, yeah, exactly. More code equals more bug potential. Yeah, it's the reason why I don't like running too many mods. Because the modding community is fucking awesome. There are so many good mods for the game, but... When you're doing a run that goes on for this long, the more mods you add, it's like, ah. Uh, the higher the risk of my game just fucking up partway through, and I just really don't like the thought of that. <laughs> I put too much time and effort into this run for everything to crash and go wrong. Because I wanted to run a couple of, like, quality of life mods. And plus, there's less things to blame then as well. Like, if I fuck up and I get grabbed by a zombie, there's less things I gotta, like, look at. Because there's not that many things in vanilla that can go wrong and get you killed. And I like that. E shotgun ammo. Yeah, to be fair, actually. I'll take you, because I want to do some shooting later. You ever play with Cryo Winter? Yeah, I played Cryo Winter before. It's a fun little background mod. You know. It's on its own, Cryogenic Winter isn't that bad. You know, Cryogenic Winter is really easy to, do to deal with. But, that being said, if you add, like, a shit ton of other mods to make the game harder, Cryogenic Winter becomes really fun. That's the way I like to use it personally. It's like a little bonus multiplier. Like, if I make my game a little bit difficult, Cryogenic Winter just amplifies it slightly. But yeah, on its own, though, it's, like, multiplied by zero. It just doesn't really do anything for me. What's the current vanilla kill record? Uh, that would be this one. So, 863382. Oh, sorry, now you asked vanilla, didn't you? No. This is it! <laughs> no, I'm vanilla would you, be... This is it! 135... Something, something, something. <laughs> yeah, 135. That's... Held by two people, because they have the same score. It's by Rule Storage and Royal with Cheese. They both have identical kill counts, but they both did vanilla. I'm pretty sure. So, I wouldn't be surprised if someone's passed it by now, but I don't... I haven't heard anything. I haven't heard of anyone doing more than 135 on, like, just pure vanilla. No mods whatsoever. some tips. You have water near your base, you struggle with temperature. I mean, it's... Temperature is really simple if you just break it down into its, like, basic form. You know, if you're too cold, wear more clothing. If you're too hot, take clothing off. It's as simple as that, really. Um, and then if you want to know, like, you know, if you're really struggling with it and you're still not finding that your character's doing well. Uh, just have a quick look at all the stats, and the one that you need to look at is insulation. You know, wind resistance doesn't really matter, and any of that stuff. And, uh, well, yeah, wind resistance, and then condition. Like, if the, if the clothing has, like, high insulation, but it's been ripped and it has holes in it, you'll see on your insulation tab here, 
you know, you, you can check the clothing by inspecting it and seeing where the holes are, but you'll see it here as well, like, if I had a hole in my jacket arm, you would see that my arm would be a little bit colder than the other one, because it's got a hole in it. But, yeah, you have all the layers possible. So, I'm, I'm assuming you're too cold then. Cry, yeah, you're asking about cryogenic winter, yeah. I mean, just wear more layers, and then, if you're already wearing all the layers possible, just look for more clothing for those layers, but things that have higher insulation. So, like, if I was really struggling with temperature myself, I would probably... Well, currently, I'm not wearing a tank top, so I would put a tank top on. I'm not wearing socks, so I put long socks on. If I'm still really cold, I would probably replace the jacket with maybe a leather jacket, you know? I don't like leather jackets because they slow your attack speed, but, you know, if I needed the extra insulation, I know that one has more insulation. Padded jackets as well, padded trousers, you know, padded pants as well, they have higher insulation. Um, and then, yeah, beyond that, just be more active. So, your character's temperature works the same way it would in real life, in terms of, like, physical activity. So, if you're running around and fighting and cutting down trees and doing all these things where you're moving constantly, your body's gonna generate more heat, you know, naturally, because you're running around constantly. But if I'm just in, like, sat outside, like, sat on the ground, not doing anything, well, my temperature's gonna drop, because I'm not physically doing anything. You know, I'm just sat there. So maybe just try running around a little bit if you're, like, really struggling. And then beyond that, you know, you could... If you're getting... You're still really cold, uh, spend a little bit of time inside houses. Because the insulation will always be closer to the optimal. Uh, temperature inside a house, whether it's too cold or too hot outside. And if you're still too cold, you know, you could go even further and start making, like, like taking an antique stove and putting it in your house. Having that one lit 24-7 so it's hotter inside to combat the cold. How do I de zombies? They seem to keep following me eternally. Uh, you need to break line of sight first. I mean, I can show you now because I need to have a rest, but like, if I want to get rid of these guys here, I need them to not be able to see me, first and foremost, so I'm gonna put something between them and myself, which is gonna be this building. So now they can't see me. They're gonna carry on following me because they're still chasing after where I, like, they last saw me. I'll ignore those ones. But you'll see when they get around that corner, they'll just stand there and do nothing because they no longer know where I am because I, I broke line of sight with them. So now all of those guys are just going to chill where they last saw me. And they'll just stay there now. So, appreciate the follow as well, uh, Luigi. But, you need to break line of sight, and then you need to break audio. So, first you need to make sure the zombies can't see you, and then after they can't see you, you need to make sure they can't hear you. So you would just crouch right away. So you don't make more noise while you're running. Appreciate the follow as well, not that guy. So if I need to rest from zombies, I better go rest inside a house. I mean... If, if you're playing with Cryo Winter and it's really cold outside, yeah. Because I mean, like, you'll see now when I'm- now that I'm sat down. You'll see my body heat generation. You'll see that bar start, like, going down. Because I'm sat around not doing anything. So while I'm sat here, it's just gonna, like, slowly go down. And my core temperature, like, is gonna go down in correlation to my generation. So yeah, if it's really cold outside and you're like really struggling to keep your body heat up, yeah, it might be worth sitting inside a house where it's warmer. So your body heat doesn't drop as far. Scorched. Let's grab all of you.
<laughs> Spiro Soapy. No, it's not. I swear. <laughs> it's the man, not the weapon. Swing and a miss. You're gonna go to a million kills? Yeah, just to a million. So... We are pretty much at the finish line for this run. Like, we've done basically everything. So the last thing to do now is get level 10 aiming, level 10 reloading. And it's not mandatory. Like, I just want to do it because... But I also want to get a million kills because it's never been done before. And it's on my little Project Zomboid bucket list of things I want to... I want to do. Next week is going to be challenges. No, so we're going to be doing this one now for the next three weeks. Because I normally, like as of late, I do like two or three weeks of this run and then I'll take like a week off. But I've only got about three to four weeks of this run left and then we're done. Uh, based on like how many kills we do per stream. So we should be finished with this run before the end of February. So I kind of just want to, like, power through as much as I can now towards the end. And I know mentally how I work. The second I get over, like, 900,000, like, 900 to 950, I'll be, like, super energetic about it. Because it'll only be, like, a, a handful of streams left at that point. It'll be, like, one or two weeks, you know. Well, it'll be about two weeks once I get to 950. So... I'll be, like, really into it then. <laughs> Has a better plan, Project Sunboy plan than my real life, yep. See, I don't show any of my stuff off, but you should see the folder I have for this game. <laughs> it's so... It's so dumb. I have a little folder that I've made for this save and it has my entire plan and all of my data for this run. So it's like, if I go to this location with my settings, I'm going to pull zombies from this location and this location and they're going to come in this number and that number and then when I fall back to this location, it's going to bring them to this area. So then when I go back, they're going to come in from the north instead of from the east. It's like a whole fucking plan. Like, I've got a fucking blueprints for this game. <laughs> I've got a whole war, a whole war board, a whole war map made for this run. It's great. I feel like I'm playing a war simulator. Keeping track of where all my zombies are. Alright. Let's start running home. And then we'll come back down here tomorrow. But yeah, appreciate the sub as well, Abraham. Don't worry, I'm not ignoring you. I'm just, like, distracted killing zombies. <laughs> but I appreciate the two months. Welcome back on in. After you're done with this run? Well, after I'm done with this run, while we wait for Build 42 to get released, I'll probably be doing sprinters. Because I, like, I have put a bit of thought into it as to what I'll do afterwards. And I was thinking maybe I'll do some more short-term challenges. Like, I was going to do, like, the one painful year challenge and stuff like that. But the truth is, a lot of those challenges are just too easy at this point for me personally. So I don't think they would be that fun. So I think I'll just stick to trying to uh, trying to beat the world record for sprinters by trying to compete with Bonsai and Animal. So I can just focus on sprinters exclusively then after this run's done. While we wait. And then I'll probably be streaming like other games as well. Because I want to stream some more of Enshrouded because it's really fun. I really enjoyed playing there on uh, Friday. There's been a few spicy near grabs. Yeah, I've nearly I've come close a few times. 
Yeah, you've been risk of dying. Yeah, like Ali says, I've had like probably half a dozen times now where I've nearly been grabbed. And they've almost all of them been because I was sat on the ground and I didn't stand up quick enough because I was like, I just didn't hold shift. So I didn't step like do the fast stand up animation. So I've had a couple of those where I've nearly been grabbed. I've had one glitch that got me grabbed. But apart from the glitch, I haven't fucked up badly. I haven't fucked up bad enough to have any zombie injuries yet. So glitches aside, perfect runs so far. Why not Cataclysm with Sprinters? Because you can't do Cataclysm with Sprinters without using exploits. Really? And I don't like using exploits personally. Just a personal thing. But no, if you want to do CDDA with Sprinters, you'd have to use... Uh, I don't know what you would call it. Like the Jog... Jog Star exploit? It's the one that Bonsai uses. Um... I like, nothing against other people doing it, but I just don't like it myself, but... Because you have a groin injury at the start of CDA, you can't run. And because you can't run, and you have a cold, you're going to be bringing sprinters to you constantly, and you're not going to be able to outrun them. So you can't really survive. I mean, you could probably do it if you tried hard enough. But if you want to get out of the area, you'd have to use this exploit, where you're, like, doing the, the start of the animation constantly. It doesn't matter if you have a groin injury. Uh, you can still do this animation. Though it's just a faster way to get out of it. And also the sprinters can't slow you down when you're doing this either. But personally, I don't like using that type of stuff. Oh, generators ran out of juice. No worries. I'll fix that one. If you rush uh, to the second house. Yeah, rush to the second house and then maybe try and kill the zombies in the area. I, like, I can see Bonsai being able to do it. Because Bonsai's an animal when he's, like, killing zombies through windows. But personally, I wouldn't want to do it myself. Just because... One, I don't want to use exploits, and two, even if I didn't use the exploits and I somehow managed to pull it off by running to the second house. Cataclysm doesn't really have spicy settings, apart from the start. So if I'm remembering, it's time six, isn't it? I think? It's time six, extremely rare loot. Um... I think the respawns are higher on Cataclysm, I think. I can't remember what the numbers are, though. And I think it's set to six months later as well. But yeah, apart from the very beginning where the house is on fire and stuff, Cataclysm isn't really that bad, honestly, in my opinion. It's times four, 1.5. Okay. Yeah, I'm 6 then. Nature Abundant. Oh, the Abundance is maxed as well? Why? <laughs> Why is it maxed? That's bizarre. Six months later, standard respawn, three days, yeah. But yeah. The only fun part I see about Cataclysm is literally just the beginning, with the house on fire. But that only lasts for so long. I want to encourage foraging. Yeah. Living off winter berries, I suppose. Feels like they nerfed the spawn area. Hmm. Like less zombies. Maybe? I, I'm not sure. I can't remember the last time I looked at the zombie pop map for Cataclysm. But 
yeah. Throw all this in here. I'll go grab that katana I left yesterday as well. On the way back in. Just leave them there for a second. Yeah, let's go get that Jenny refueled. Uh, that's a question. I mean, I've got this gas here. Where's my other gas can? Hmm. Shit. That wasn't our fault. That wasn't our fault. fault. No. I'll have to repair him soon as well, because he's almost down to uh, 50. I'll keep that one with me for a little bit. Never see good? Who? Who are we talking about? Bonsai. Oh yeah, Bonsai is objectively one of the best sprinter players. Like, I'd say easily second. Like, slam dunk easy. Like, <laughs> yeah, Bonsai is one of the best. He's better at sprinters than I am, considerably. Because he's, he's nowhere near as patient as I am, but he makes up for it with just, like, fucking goated reaction times. Yeah, Bonsai might be the best mechanically in the game. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Like, <laughs> the man has absolutely no patience for anything, which is why he dies constantly. Well, you're but a when he man gets a me. run going, he just goes. That's like, always been true. <laughs> yes, he has. Because he's just so fucking good mechanically. Like, you should see him fighting around uh, just fences. Like, even if you just look at his fence combat alone, it's just stupid how good he is and how efficiently he moves around zombies right that's all good um, I'll leave you behind for a second. I'm not going to do any shooting on this day. But we'll run south now. Go get that katana, go kill the zombies. All that good stuff. to watch him play. Oh, it's because he's changed his um, fucking... <laughs> Bonsai's a little shit. <laughs> Bonsai's a little shit who changes his name constantly. Let me give him a uh, introduced my shout out. Yeah, miss, he's currently Mr. This Lamprey AU. Good conversation. <laughs> yeah, go drop Bonsai follow. If you're interested in sprinter gameplay. You'll ch change again likely, yeah, probably. She can change your name, like, was it, once every two months? He was doing a U roleplay last time. I mean, who wouldn't want to roleplay me? <laughs> He's doing happy days and stuff. No, that's fucking lying in the sand. No, Bonzo, you can steal my identity, but not the happy days. That's mine, okay? <laughs> How dare you, sir? <laughs>
Right. Almost by the intersection. Then we'll start running into zombies then. Stuff. And let's try and make it down to the car now. And then we'll just get everybody in one area. I'll make killing a little bit faster then. And I'll pick up that katana as well before I forget. He should be just over here. No, oh, a little bit further. I think. Yeah. Next one. I don't remember where I dropped him now. Where are you? Um, there he is. We'll just quickly kill all the ones that are following us. We're not that far away from where the decoy car is now. Right. That's pretty much everyone. Swing and a miss. Heart shouldn't be that much further. Yeah, you only hinge. Hello, hello. Yeah, 
it's just past where we are here, so... We'll chill here for a bit. And just kill all the ones following, and the ones that we just grab. While everything else goes to the car. Awesome. Hey, close. Hello, hello. Right. Now that we're all caught up, let's go see how many we have by this to decoy. And hopefully the fog dies down soon as well. Make things a little bit easier. You should be... Yeah, there he is. Cool. We have a little group then. It's not looking too bad so far, though. Yeah. This should be all nice and streamlined now, though. Should be able to get a good amount of kills today. Pancakes. Welcome on in. Awesome. Yep. Catch you later, Sky. Enjoy the rest of your day. Ow. 
Hey, Lardine as well. Hello, hello. All the people today. How's your day going? Let's grab another little chunk. You haven't slept it's 6 a.m. and I'm leaving in an hour. Your day sounds like it's going to be wonderful, then. <laughs> A nice productive day of drinking coffee. Rest. And the fog's going now as well. Awesome. So we can actually have a proper look at the group of zombies we have by the car. Yay, yeah, big. We have about 10 inches of snow to clear this morning. Oh, everyone's having such a great morning, man. <laughs> like half of you haven't slept yet, and the other half are, like, experiencing sub-zero temperatures, apparently. Living the dream. It could be worse though, it could be worse. Yeah, look on the bright side. <laughs> Plus everyone loves coffee. Who doesn't love drinking coffee? Yeah, cozy, warm, finished eating a pizza. You're having a great day then. And you're making me jealous. I want a pizza. <laughs> I've had too much pizza recently. I got there. Back on chicken again. Back on rice. Sad days. Another little chunk for the cores.
Hmm, awesome. And I reckon we'll probably get through the entire group today, unless we just get a nice random wave come out of nowhere. But yeah, that's not too many left. Let's grab another little chunk then, and then we'll be able to get the car back then. And the other decoy shouldn't be too much further south from here either. So no Aphrodite somewhere around here. Appreciate the followers well trying to work out how to pronounce this the last part of your name. <laughs> Stoke? Hopefully I'm getting that right. If not, feel free to correct me. You're welcome on in. Where are you on the map? Uh, we are on the highway in Muldra currently. So, very close to the center of the map at the moment. So yeah. That's where we are currently, just chilling in Muldra. And the plan is to just keep going south and kill all the zombies from No Man's Land down over here. That is the plan. You haven't caught stream in a while? You were 7.50ish last time I saw. Okay, it's been a little while then. Like, probably like a month or two. That's the spear kind of reached this limit. No, no, we made, um, we made a few spears earlier. And we came up to 9,998. So it's like, fuck it, we might as well make two more and make it 10,000. Why not? <laughs> yeah, we've officially made 10,000 spears on this run. Very nice. Appreciate the follow, homeboy. Happy days. Welcome on in. Have a quick rest because there's still tons of you left. <laughs> yeah, the next round we'll just pre make 10,000 spears. I'll put them all in West Point as well. Anytime I want to go and like pick up a new like collection of spears, I'll have to take the van out there, take the trailer, load it up with like a thousand spears, deliver it to, to Muldra or Riverside or wherever we are. <laughs> load of the pitch, couldn't hear. Oh, yeah, nah, it's, it doesn't have a limit. It's literally just a counter. But no, we'll make more. We should be on about 11,000, 11,500 by the time the run ends. So I've still got about like 1,500 to make at the very most. And about another 1,000 at the very least. Start heading back down south again. 
You found all the CDs? No. no we're not going to be doing that. Because the odds of me finding every CD and every VHS tape on these loot settings is basically, it's basically zero. It's not going to happen. But we found quite a few of them. But I'm not going to go looking for the rest. all of well most of them cool let's go grab another i've still got at least two hours minimum doesn't look safe nah it's not worth the effort i'm not gonna cut down all those trees and take Far too long. If I really cared about it that much, I would just move all the trees in the center of the road. If I really cared. As long as I'm not sat, like, literally directly next to a tree, it's fine. Like, that's fine. That's fine. But if the tree was, like, right there, it wouldn't be safe. And as long as I don't fast forward too quickly when I'm sat next to it, they can't grab me. I've already fucked up once when doing that. It's because I clicked on the wrong one. Is that a katana? Uh, fuck, where have you gone? Thought I saw a katana for a second. Nah, it must have been the bread knife. Need to add a metal detector for scenarios like this, yeah. Right. Yeah, there's not too many of you left. We should be able to finish all of you. Yeah. It's like three or four more poles and we should be done. The spear gets short to the other twig, yeah. <laughs> We're not going to snap the spears anymore, we're going to wear them down with friction. Also, do you have any ammo? No.
reckon one more pull and then we're done. Just grab all of you now. You saw someone post a video of Build 38. It looked weird and awkward. Oh, fucking 38 looks so, yeah. It looks really weird looking back on it now. It was still really fun back then, but when you look at it compared to this, it's like... Did I really used to enjoy that? It looks so fucking... It looks so scuffed. <laughs> it looks so bad. But yeah, it was still really fun back then, though. But it feels like a completely different game now. At least in terms of, like, the combat, you know. It plays and feels completely different. There's always a few left. We'll kill them. And then we'll grab the car and go home. It's, yeah, 10 o'clock now. Time to run on back. And then when we come back down here in the morning, we'll probably refuel at the gas station before we go looking for some more. Yeah, just get rid of those last few. thinking about it actually I'll probably refuel you before I go home now because I've got a little bit of time as long as I'm back by midnight that's fine depends how busy it is back up here Do it tomorrow. There's a few of you still lurking around here. Yeah, we'll kill you tomorrow then. Otherwise, if I get out now, I'll be here until like two in the morning. You've got enough fuel for the time being anyway. I have introduced myself. You have introduced yourself. This is a very good conversation. Hey, Yon. Hello, hello. No, had you like in the door. I know. I gotta get back from my bedtime. Yep. <laughs> you know no man's on dreams is so it ain't easy being cheesy the really... oh do I start dealing with them I mean I start dealing with them what directly like actually going after them once I've cleared everything else like this is the first time I've ever done it because I've never cleared this many before but um like on these settings but like, once you clear all the towns and there aren't really any zombies left to go for um that's when I would go for no man's because there's no reward for clearing no man's land beyond just killing zombies, so you might as well go for the towns first, but I haven't done March Ridge because I haven't been able to get down there. March Ridge isn't, in, isn't explored? No, it's because we're on pinpoint hearing, so if I want to go to March Ridge, I have to clear all the zombies down in that area first. Because if I go to March Ridge, all of these guys, they can already hear me while I'm in Muldra, so I can't physically get to it yet. But we've been killing so many zombies while we're in Mulja. Like, we've done uh, about 160,000 since we've been in Mulja. Uh, well, since we started clearing No Man's Land from Mulja. So, probably close to the 220 if we include the Mulja zombies as well. So, we've done like 220,000 zombies since we've been here. And, uh, they've got to be getting thin enough for me to get down to Martridge soon. Because we've managed to get past it. Like, we drove down the road that went slightly past it before 
and then we pulled some more in from No Man's, but I haven't been able to get into the town itself yet. Only close, only nearby. Much of it should be almost clear. Maybe? I don't reckon it is, personally, just because of past experience. So anytime I've tried to clear a march ridge in the past with pinpoint hearing, they always get stuck on the fence on the north side. Every time. So, march ridge has a fence that goes along the north side. From about here, all the way down to about here, more or less. So you end up getting thousands of zombies from town, and thousands of zombies from No Man's Land all getting stuck on the fence here. But the second you enter the town, all of those guys can then path towards you, because now there's nothing blocking them. So they all start making their way east, and then they just start like dis dispersing and spreading out there. So, I don't reckon it'll be empty. I reckon I'll get slapped when I go there. But, in comparison to how many we've killed so far, it won't be that many, you know. Maybe, what, 10,000? Maybe a little bit more. So, probably a couple of days of killing IRL. Oh, rip. Oh, those spears on the ground. I'm still safer than Lego, yeah. Sounds like a cool zombie apocalypse plot. Yeah, I find it funny how many spears we've made though since we've been here because this area used to be filled with trees <laughs> like the entire thing we have to fucking deforest the entire area just so I can keep up with my spear manufacturing hilarious Oh yeah, we need a shoe counter as well. And I'll have that one later as well. Right, that's all good. That's all good, cool. Let's go get the car refueled. Some hello, hello. To be fair, let me start my cart just so we can drag more of them in. 
Snow day, uh, snow day here in Nova Scotia. All school cancelled. Nice. Chill day then. Also, I just noticed what the time is. Two hours in. I'm going to take my usual five minute break, stretch my legs, make another coffee, and then we'll go get the car refueled and slap some more zombies. Right, I'm back. Happy days. Chill day for the little ones. Oh, not for you though. Work from home. Rip. <laughs> Sympathies. <laughs> right, let's get rid of everybody here. And catch you later, Lardine. Good amount of zombies. Awesome.
And there's actually more of you around here than I thought there would be. Cool. We'll ditch most of you there while I have a quick rest. And we're gaining weight again. Awesome. Let's go get all the ones by the car next. Oh, that was everyone. Nice. Easy for me, then. And they're just chilling, doing his own thing. Yeah, some of them get a bit weird like that. Like, they'll be the attracted to the car or a generator, and they just don't want to get aggroed. They just won't turn around sometimes. It's really bizarre. <laughs> Like that. It's gonna stay here. The vibe. But now that I have a bunch of dead bodies, I'm just gonna grab some watches really quickly. So I need to repair my generator as well. When does the cleanup crew pick up all the broken spears? Oh, that's the military's job. Also, hello, nuts. Hello, hello. Yeah, once I'm done doing their job, they're all gonna swoop in, helicopters and all, and their job is to pick up all of my spears. <laughs> I don't need too many. I need about six, I think. Alright, two more. Yep, exactly six. Awesome. Don't have to worry about that then for a little while. Appreciate the followers were Rhea. Happy days. Right, we can go south now. Go look for some more zombies and get this car refueled as well. 
It's the rest of these guys, they'll follow us. They'll, we'll start coming down south. It's fine as well. Awesome. And I got a little bit of time. zombies you think would be in Knox County because of real zombie apocalypse or if zombies were real zero patient zero would get gunned down immediately <laughs> no I have no idea what the pot of Kentucky is no idea or even Knox County That's low. Yikes. We've looked at the pop for all the towns from, was it, 93? And they've all got, like, significantly fewer zombies than what we killed normally. 486,000. Okay, so we've nearly, like, done twice as many then. Nice. <laughs> Take that digital Knox County. Why was Knox County in 93 then? About 340? Uh, 348. Nice. Guns, however. <laughs> I should be fine now. You dropped the donut on your keyboard? Just watched it yesterday. <laughs> That's great. Oh, well, it could be, could be worse. At least you weren't eating something like soup or anything else liquid. <laughs> Wish I had a follow as well, amateur. Happy, day. Ugh, happy days.
Alright, well we killed this yesterday. And we got down to about here, so hopefully we'll run into another big group today. Or better yet, hopefully we'll run into Aphrodite, so we can pull more zombies up from the south, if this area turns out to be empty. Just get my louder car. And we'll probably have to get her refueled as well, because I think it's been a while since we've been able to get to her. Most often, like, ask people with coffee swab problems for... for Happy 10,000 spear birthday as well. Happy days, yeah. Finally crossed over the 10,000 spear mark. You're still running. Nice. Not oh, barely. Cool. Question is, can I make it? <laughs> I know, it's so much like, I can make it. I'm running on fumes, I can make it though. Oh shit, wrong way. Hey, we actually made it. I thought, honestly thought we were going to run out like just before. So we had that happen last time. We were driving her back and she ran out of fuel literally right here. <laughs> it's like, fuck's sake. So close. Yeah, it's so far. Yeah, cool stuff. No. Appreciate the follow as well, Tao. Happy days. Grab them as well. And why run out of gas today when I can run out of gas tomorrow? Exactly. So you didn't actually see it then, but my car did actually run out of gasoline while I was driving. But my character has such a high strength level currently that he just like shot his feet straight through the back of the base of the car and he just Fred Flintstone his way all the way here. <laughs> he just whispered the magic words yabba dabba do and his car just carried on going. Any time today.
Ah, so close. Like gas stations are insanely dangerous places by design. Yeah, it's just filled with blind spots everywhere. And you gotta stand right next to all the blind spots as well to refuel your car. It's great. Yeah. Alright. Oh, let's turn you off. And we'll go looking for some big groups now. Try and round up a decent number. So we'll drive all the way down south. Try and grab as many as possible. How long has this run been going? Uh, I started this run on the 3rd of March, I believe, last year. So he's been going for a long time. It's been almost a year, but it's been like on and off. Like, at the very beginning, we were doing like consistently like 10 hours every single stream, five days a week, so like 50 hours each week. And then as time's gone on, it's been less and less, so it's been like about eight hours per day, five days a week, with like the odd week here and there where I just like play something else so it's just over 1400 hours now i think for this run like i think we're somewhere between 1400 and 1500 hours total but yeah the run's slowly coming to an end though 138,361 kills to go Your entire game time is 1500? Fair, fair. How many hours in game? I'm probably close to 11,000 by now. So I've got projects on board on two accounts. I've got this one, which should be on about 7,800 ish. And my old account, which is on 3,300. Uh, fuck it. Steam, what am I on? Where's projects on board? There you are. Uh, this one. Oh no, it's less than what I thought. It's 7,296. So I'll say 7,300. So yeah, I'm on just shy of about 10,500 currently. Yeah, <laughs> the 10,000 leave a review. Yeah, I'm waiting until this count gets up to 10,000 hours total. And then I'll leave like one of those stupid reviews like, yeah, it's alright, I guess. Yeah. I guess I need to play it a little bit more before I can like come to a decisive conclusion. <laughs> but yeah, no, I've had this game for years. Let's see if we can find some big numbers down here, and then we'll drag them up north later. So that's just what I'll spend the last bit of this day doing. It's a bit late to uh, be grabbing any big groups at the moment. Appreciate the follow, Pixie. Mind showing off your map? Yeah, you can have a quick gander. That's what the map looks like. That's where we've gone. So we've done everything except for the far western side of Doe Valley, Martridge, and then No Man's Land. But everything else is done. But yeah, it's very... It's very spicy. It's a very good time. Yeah, everyone's dead. Beautiful. Yeah, I've, Louisville's definitely my favorite of all of them. 
Louisville drove me fucking insane because it was like 300,000 zombies to kill, but <laughs> Louisville's been the most fun to wipe out. Spike bats your favorite blunt weapon. Nice. Get that extra crit damage. Yeah, we'll have to see if we can grab some more from Marchbridge now. And anything else that might be around this area. Drag them all up. That's cool, thanks for showing it. Hey, no worries. Yeah, I'm just looking forward to, um... Once we can push the zombies back all the way, like, all the way down south consistently, and we can wipe out Marchridge, I'm looking forward to that, because then we can officially say we've cleared everything. Every town on the map has been wiped out completely. And it's like, ooh, spicy. Very quiet at the moment, though. I wasn't expecting to get this far south. I thought we would have run into them by now. It's all by mortal men. Hello, killer. Your mortal, prove it. Pulls out gum. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> yeah, I'll prove I'm a mortal man at the end of the game. <laughs> I'll make it elaborate. It's very quiet. Alright, I'll go down to... I'll go all the way south first, and then once we run into the zombies... We'll come back up north, and then we'll go west, and we'll try and pull some in from Marchridge as well. Try and pull some out of there, if there are any lurking about. Because I reckon we've already passed tons of them, they're just all in the tree line. Just happens to be that most of the road is empty. I can see the odd one or two every now and then. But once we drive back up north later, they'll all follow us back to Muldra. Anyone who's down south, if anyone's still alive down here, they'll all start following us up north now. And if there's anyone still alive east as well, in range, they'll start coming up this way. Awesome. But we'll go check out Marchridge now. Try and pull them some toward, uh, some of them towards Muldra. At what point of your playthrough have the most zombies alive? Huh? At what point of your playthrough had the most zombies alive? Day one? I don't I don't know if you're asking something else. If you're asking like when did I have the most zombies in my game, day one. Like the second we started. I I don't know what you're asking. <laughs> if it's if you're not asking that, I don't know what you're asking me. But yeah. 
we had um, peak day on day one, and it's time 16, so we had the most amount of zombies just instantly, immediately when we started the game. Oh, you're asking about- yeah, if you're asking about the peak day, yeah, it was peak day one. Yeah. No, sorry, I was like, I read it, I was like, I wasn't sure, sure what you were asking me for a second. <laughs> no, fair play. But no, it's, um, it's four by four by four peak day one, so it's times four times four times- which gives times 16, and then peak day one, so it's immediately. Plenty of you there. So these guys will all come up, come up north now. Hey, Jax as well. Hello, hello. Do you have that on YouTube? Yeah, if you type in exclamation mark VOD, that will take you to my... just my VOD channel where, like, all the streams are archived. And VOD will take you to the playlist for this run. So it's all on YouTube. You can watch it all from the start if you want to. Well, you know, just flick through it and cherry pick moments that you like you're after. But it's all on there. Well, it's all on there except for like the latest episodes. I think I'm like a handful behind currently. But yeah, you can watch the start of the run there. Yep, straight into the fire. Yep, no ramping up. Just give me all the zombies on day one. No respawns and then we'll just eliminate everyone slowly. <laughs> Yeah, we'll drive all the way back up home now. And then when we come back to town tomorrow, they should be further north. Because they have follow sound distance set to 600, so they should go most of the way towards Moldra. And then we can pull them in again like this tomorrow. But they, but they shouldn't be as far then. And then we've got all these guys as well to collect. So we should make it quite far south tomorrow, hopefully. Not sure if I want to watch a thousand hours. Yeah, no, it's just there to flick through, basically, yeah. Like, everyone who looks at the VOD, uh, the VODs literally just goes for the first episode, I and that's pretty much it. Myself, you have introduced yourself. This is a very Most people good are just concept. interested on, like, how do you start, like, a Time 16 game, and it's like, oh, okay, he just runs out of town, does exercise, then goes back in, and then starts chipping away. Cool, that makes sense. <laughs> but yeah, and I wouldn't expect anyone to, like, actually watch all the VODs. It's just there so that later down the line if i want to like edit this into a short form series so you know like 10 minute videos and stuff i can just download the videos from youtube otherwise like every single one of these videos is like 25 gigabytes like 10 to 25 gigabytes a piece so i i don't feel like spending all of my money on a shit ton of hard drives <laughs> to store all the vi videos Background playlist for work is set for months, yeah. 
challenge accepted. See, I'm going to check the analytics now. There's going to be like one person who's watched everything. <laughs> one person who sits through every single stream and watches every second of every VOD. Doesn't even skip through the breaks. Watches all the breaks as well. <laughs> Wish you hit the follow as well, kin. Happy days. Yeah, and takes notes, you know. I will study your ways. Also, hello, Zeno. Morning. Alright. I'm gonna leave you running overnight. So hopefully I, I wake up and I have some zombies here tomorrow. <laughs> just a 20 gigabyte file about what I did wrong, just cherry picking. Backseat gaming months after I finished the vaults. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you could have optimized this. You missed a katana here. You didn't pick up the ammo from this guy. Your PC pop's currently set to 3.3 .3, and the actual pop of Kentucky. Oh, the actual pop of Kentucky. This man just killed 50 times the actual pop. I mean, the actual population is... I mean, if you're about, like, the real pop, we just talked about it a moment ago. I think I've done just over twice the amount. Fuck, what did you guys say? You said it was... 340? Scrolling up trying to find it now. I'm pretty sure you said 340. Uh, there it is, yeah, 348. So yeah, we've done over twice the amount. Yeah. Oh, if you're on about, like, the actual, like, the population for the game, yeah, we've done, like, almost a quarter of it. 4.5 mil is the total for time 16. Appreciate the follow as well. Lawful legal. Happy days. But yeah, we're going for the big 1 million. That's the target. That's the number we've got in our mind. Not to be fair, we didn't kill that many yesterday, did we? Oh yeah, but population sensors are just people who live there. Yeah, no, we we all know that. Now we're gonna harass all the tourists, make them sign. I'm gonna take a head count of all the all the people who came visiting in '93 as well. <laughs> I demand that you sit down while I take a census. I must have accurate numbers. No ammo. We'll just keep stopping and killing everything that we see, just until we find a big group. Because they should all be... Well, there should be a big group in Muldra now. Just gotta find out how far down they are. But if I stop to kill all the zombies, it'll give them a chance to catch up to me, wherever they are. Let me build a structure. Or off a pre-existing one. I mean, I've got a main base that's by the military checkpoint in Louisville and we've built like standalone structures there but not here no it's um when it comes to like finding a place to sleep and building a base uh pre-existing buildings are just superior to player made ones every single time it's never really worth having a player made structure unless like unless you're literally in the middle of nowhere like I don't know let's say for example you wanted to live uh, fucking here. 
Like, <laughs> you want it to live, like, right next to the riverbank for some reason. Or, like, all the way down here on this bridge, or somewhere around here where there are no houses. In that case, sure. But if you live near a town, or, like, there's some houses nearby, it's always worth living there. It's always safer. Because zombies can't destroy pre-made walls. So, you've only got to worry about doors and windows then. But if you build something from scratch, they can destroy the entire thing, so... The entire house is vulnerable, and it's like, oh, shit. And it takes like two zombies to break down a wall and you're fucked then. If you think about it, Zero to Hero runs are easier in the long run. Yeah, that's the point. That's the whole point of doing it. <laughs> The whole idea of doing a zero to hero run is to make your character incredibly weak and vulnerable at the start of the game so that your late game is incredibly strong and powerful. So you're sacrificing early game potential for exponential growth for your late game. So like you say, like I can take weak and unfit and obese or very underweight, get an extra 30 points from those ones. And then, you know, among other neg negative traits as well. And then overall, I'll have, like, about 60, 70 points to spend. So I'm going to be, like, absolute dog shit for, like, the first month or two. But the longer I survive, the more powerful my character is going to become. Because I'm going to earn those, those fitness and strength points. But then I've got all those points I've already spent on passive bonuses, like Cat Eyes and Outdoorsman and Wakeful and Dexterous and Low Thirst and Light Eater. Keen Hearing and other things. It's the whole point of doing a run like this. Kind of figured, uh, we have a ton of time. Maybe, uh, oh, but like a cathedral or something? No. Like, I have not like, what I call an uber base. I have a base that's of ridiculous proportions. Um, so we, we've, like, made roads and built, uh, like, a giant mechanic workshop and everything. Built a fishing, like, a really nice fishing shack and all that stuff from scratch. But it's all in Louisville. And because we've killed everything in Louisville, I don't really have any reason to go back there anymore. So, for places like this, we just have outposts, which is literally just a house that has... A generator, an oven, a fridge, and it's relatively safe from zombies. And then it's normally next to a water source as well for fishing. Because they just exist, so I have somewhere to sleep while I'm killing zombies in the area. But yeah, unless I'm playing a game that has respawn enabled, I don't tend to build lots of really nice bases. I normally only build the one, and then that's it then, because... If you don't have respawns enabled, the issue is your bases just become redundant. Because once you kill everything, there's like the base doesn't really serve any purpose. Which is a bit of a shame. But you know, it's self-inflicted from second's choice. <laughs> the spear pop is flourishing, that it is. You don't have respawns? No, there's no point, because we're doing a time 16 game. So, with a time 16 game, because you have millions of zombies on the map to kill, there's no point having respawns, because even with respawns off, we haven't even killed a quarter of them yet. <laughs> we haven't even gotten 25% of the way through the map, in terms of, like, killing everything. So there wouldn't be too much point having respawns enabled, because... If I had respawns turned on, on like the default settings, for example, I'd never be able to move anywhere. Because they would respawn faster than I would be able to kill them. So I, I would just be stuck in whichever town I decided to spawn in originally. And then we wouldn't be able to do like some of the more fun stuff, like wiping out the mall and wiping out the entirety of Louisville, stuff like that. So it would be too much territory to cover.
a good stuff. Let's gonna grab all of you for a second. Let's make sure you can all see me. You thought with uh you thought I had respawns or with how many I've killed? Yeah. Nah, it's because just with time 16, you just have sheer volume of zombies. Like, West Point alone has 80,000 for the entire area. I think Muldra has about 60,000. Places like Rosewood and Martyr have, have about 40,000-ish, give or take. And then... Riverside has about... The same, if I'm remembering rightly. And then Louisville alone has like 300,000. And then if you add up like all the back roads as well, it's like it's all involved in that. It's a um, chunky, chunky pop. Yeah, I'll leave you by the intersection because I like this spot. You don't understand why Z respawn is on by default? They enabled it. Why not? You would respawn as well. Well, it's about game balance. This isn't like. <laughs> I gotta like preface it by saying this isn't to shit on the new players because everyone struggles when they first play it but a population of like 1.5 which is like the default population is an extremely low amount of zombies in the grand scheme of things it's not that many so you kind of have to have respawns turned on to keep it interesting for like apocalypse and survivor and builder because it doesn't take too long to get enough game experience and enough game knowledge and just skill in general to be able to wipe out entire areas. And if you can wipe out an entire area on 1.5, which doesn't take too long, new players and, well, new and old players are going to find it extremely boring before long because the entire area is going to be completely empty and you'll have nothing to threaten you then. I mean, that's how I think about it personally. But the general rule is the higher you like the higher you put the population, the less respawns you need. So like if you go like start on 1.5, having zombies respawn every three days, 10% max pop, it's not that many. It's manageable, but it keeps things interesting. If you bumped it up to like default insane pop, which is times four? Times four or times six, I forget which one it is. It's like, okay, you don't really need the respawns as much then, you know. Maybe a little bit, but maybe bump it down to maybe 5% every three days instead of 10%. But as soon as you start going beyond, like, the times 8 to times 12 population, the respawns are just too much. You know, you have to start putting it down to, like, less than, like, 2% pop respawn every three days. Or just turn it off completely. Let me clean out the prison. Yeah, prison's empty. We've already wiped out all of that. <laughs> you could argue that zombies break immersion. It's too unrealistic. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, at the end of the day, like, it doesn't really matter what you think about the respawns or anything like that. Like, if you don't like the default or you love the default, you have a sandbox option, so you can make it exactly how you want to have it. If you think respawns are terrible, you can turn them off. If you think respawns are fantastic, you can keep them on, you know. And you can adjust all the numbers to make it exactly how you want to have it, so... You can tailor everything exactly how you want it to be. What was the table for? Oh, it's a chair, it's a piano stool. So, it's a faster way of resting out in the open. That's why I have all my chairs set up on the highway, like 20 tiles apart from one another. So, because I'm fighting on this highway predominantly, once I finish killing everything, I can run to a chair, kill the zombies, quickly sit down, rest, and then I get the little progress bar. So then I can fast forward. And then when that one disappears, boom, I know that I'm 100% full on stamina now. I'm fully rested. Nice and quick. And then I can just jump back straight into fighting straight away. So it saves me a lot of time in the long run. But yeah, the table that I was using is a piano stool. And her name is Rebecca. <laughs> but 
but yeah. I carry her around with me because she's the lightest chair in the game, so it doesn't take up much inventory space, as opposed to these ones, which all weigh 5 and 7.5. The level of customization is great. Oh yeah, it's fantastic, yeah. It's it's a fantastic survival sandbox game. Let's set it up exactly how you want it. Whether it's incredibly easy or hard or anything else. It's great. You like insane pop of respawns? Enough zombies to give you nice goals and respawns to keep the tension. Yeah. Steal some lightsabers, goddamn right. And then made him the crap of spears. Yeah. Luke Skywalker wishes he could be as good of a protagonist as this man. <laughs> Alright, let's just grab all of you, because there's not too many. Same. Just like Zeph says, even Dr. Seuss loves Rebecca. <laughs> what you got, uh, current goal in the game? Uh, currently, the goal, the main goal, is to get to a million kills. And then, secondly, is to kill guys like that who have shotguns and get shotgun ammo. Because my character is almost perfect. I have two levels left to get. I have aiming and reloading. Level 10. But. I have no more places to loot for ammo. So. All of my ammo comes from police officers now. All of my shotgun ammo. So I need to kill them. Collect a ton of shotgun ammo. And then. After I get about 70, 80 boxes. I should be able to hit level 10. Uh, level 10 aiming, that is. And once I get close to level 10 aiming, I'll also do do level 10 reloading as well. So I have a bunch of M16 magazines that I can grind with. And the reloading will take about 9 or 10 hours to grind that one out. So that's going to be fun. <laughs> yeah, the last reload. Yeah, it's going to be horrible. It's going to suck. But I've never had a perfect character before, so I want, I want it. It's on my Christmas list. Will you uh, drop the run if Build 42 is released before a million? No. Like, I'd be playing Build 42 in my spare time, probably. Like, if... As an example, like, if 42 came out... Like, tomorrow... I would probably not stream it as much as I would want to. I'd probably just finish this run. Because I'm at the point now where this run is less than a month in real time from being finished. And I've wanted to get a million kills for a number of years now, so... I'm so... close to the finish line... that I don't really want to stop at this point. <laughs> so it's, it's like doing a marathon and I can like... I'm literally like a hundred meters away from the finish line, I'm like, I'm right there. So... No, I, at this point I'll just stick with this one regardless. But yeah, if 42 did come out, though, I'd probably increase my stream time for the time being. So instead of doing 8-hour streams, I'd probably do, like, 12 to 14 hours just to, like, finish this as quickly as possible. <laughs> just to speedrun it. Yeah. 
Yeah, it doesn't foraging also provide ammo? I mean, kind of, sometimes. Like, if you go foraging in urban areas, you'll have a higher chance of finding it. And especially if you go to places like the military checkpoint. But that being said, the odds of getting the ammo are so astronomically low, there's no point, like, taking that into account for any plans that you make for your run. Like, if I was going to do, like, a gun run, for example, I wouldn't consider using foraging as a means to get ammo. Because it's just so unlikely to happen that you aren't, you aren't going to be able to sustain yourself with that. You'd be better off just hunting around for police officers and looking for cop cars and raiding gun stores and armories. Because when you do find ammo through foraging, it's basically nothing anyway. You don't get that much. Hey, Fubuki. Hello, hello. Should run out of stamina in a minute. Welcome to Moldrip, Kentucky. Population of fucking million zombies. Goddamn right. They're all tourists. We dragged them all up here from Martridge and No Man's Land. They're all tourists coming to see the weird spear boy. And they've just become some weird tourist attraction. say about the aim outline? Uh, depends what you want to know about it. I could say any number of things about the aim outline. <laughs> what do you want to know specifically? Like, do you want to know how to turn it on? Do you want to know how to change the color? Do you want to know why I use it? Like, what are we, what are we talking about? What specifically? Using. You want to know why I use it? Because it's just convenient. You enjoy it without? It's spicy. See, I don't like it without, personally. Because... There's a few different reasons for it. Like, the niche one is sometimes there are certain places that you go to where you just can't see the zombies because they're behind a vehicle or they're behind certain buildings. Like, not ones like this, but there are things like billboards and stuff like that that just completely obscure your vision. And I don't like that, personally. At night. See, I don't really mind it at night, because I can still see everything when it's dark. But it's more, like, day to day. It's when they're, like, very close together like this. Well, not this one in front, but... When you have zombies that are close together side by side, sometimes you can't tell which one you're aiming at. And I dislike that. I like to know exactly which one I'm looking at. I don't like the game deciding which one I'm going to hit. So, because I can't actually tell the game which one I want to hit, the best I can do is just 
have the game tell me which one it's going to make me hit instead. And finally, it's good for seeing bugs. So they don't come up very often, but there are targeting bugs in the game with melee weapons and with guns. So when those bugs happen, it's good to know, like, you can look back on your VODs and your clips and you can see exactly what the game was showing that you're aiming at. So if you end up hitting, like, if I have, like, three or four zombies in front of me and I swing at the zombie in front of me because he's highlighted and I hit the zombie behind him, that one's really annoying. That's a common bug. It's the same with guns. Sometimes you'll be, like, aiming at one and it'll hit the one behind him. So having the aim outline turned on is nice for that because you can actually see when the game's fucking you. <laughs> so it's like things like that really but in terms of like making the game more difficult nah it doesn't make a difference really like you're playing with aim outline turned on or turned off I could, I could turn it off now for a second if you want to if I remember where he is like it doesn't really make any difference it's why I don't mind having it turned on because it's like if it made any difference to, like, how easy or how difficult I found the game, I wouldn't have it turned on. It's mostly just for making sure the game's not fucking me with bugs and with blind spots. Lots of zombies. You can't play without them? That's fair. You try playing without it, it's spicy? Fair. Oh, with guns, that is. Fair. It's like you're blind to hit, yeah. <laughs> with melee, it's hard. With guns, impossible. I don't know. I find, like, with melee, it's, it doesn't really make much of a difference, honestly. Like, once you have, like, the memory of, like, what most weapons are in terms of like max range and min range it's not bad at all it's just about like knowing when the game's targeting a zombie that you don't want to be targeting It was like that zombie there. I thought I was going to hit the one on the left, but I hit the one on the right instead. Just little things like that. I don't like it when the game prioritizes hitting a zombie that I'm not interested in. Yeah. Yeah, that's my, my little demonstration over, just to show that it's not a skill issue <laughs> it's a personal preference it looks weird to you without somehow yeah it's probably just because you've seen me playing with it the entire time like the last nearly like 2000 hours i've just always had it turned on but yeah my gameplay is the same with or without it really i just I won't go anywhere near billboards, billboards, vans, anything like that. I don't fuck around with that if I have out aim outline turned off. But the night combat isn't that bad either. It does help though, like I'm not gonna argue against that. If it's darker and you have aim outline on, yeah it does make it a little bit easier, because you know, obviously it's telling you exactly where they are, you don't have to squint and try and see them. <laughs> but. I always run cat eyes with my characters, so I normally don't have any issue with it. I don't know. Maybe if I ran a game with Pitch Black on, like Pitch Black Nights, maybe I'd have to turn it off. Otherwise, it would probably make it a bit too easy at night then. I have introduced myself. You have introduced yourself. This is a very good conversation. It's a very good conversation. Hello, Mount. Also, catch you later, Pixie. Appreciate you dropping by and chilling for a bit. Got to sleep because of work? Yeah, no worries. I'll catch you around.
<laughs> Pro tip, sleep at work. <laughs> yes, your boss will just think you're tired from working too hard. It's a flawless plan. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm all good. Nice and chill. Just chilling and killing as always. I hope everything is good on your end as well. Yeah, we're just still shipping away that zombies. We made a quick trip down to Martridge earlier to grab a few more, so we're definitely winning. Moldra's getting very empty. Keep having to restock them from the south. But... Yeah. We've done how many so far? Uh, We've done about 2,000 kills so far today, so that's pretty good. 2,000 kills in three hours. And we had to make spears today as well, so that's pretty good. Not too bad. I had a job where I could wa uh, spend all day watching YouTube or movies. What type of job are you doing? How do I apply? <laughs> Sign me up. I'll do that job. What's the pay like? <laughs> No, oh, you're self-employed. Oh, rip. So your boss always knows. Rip. Lucas lightsaber sometimes fails to kill. Mr. Lamprey has a spear. Yeah, consistently killing one hit. Oh go, spears are superior to lightsabers. I reckon the Empire would have fallen so much quicker if they just like switched to wooden spears. You know? Just get all the Jedi using wooden spears. Things of piss. Palpatine wouldn't have stood a chance. You did have spear sabers in some of the old expanded stuff then? Oh, okay, there you go then. See? Even Star Wars knows how good spears are. <laughs> Nice and chill, nice and refresh. Hope everything is good on your end. If you're like your PZ life could be oh, it would be better if you could get spears to this level. Yeah. It's the one thing that a lot of like older 
veteran players don't like to tell some of the new players because it's fun to like pretend like the game's really difficult at this stage but the truth is the longer you survive the easier it gets <laughs> it's like it's like if you can survive a month it's like considerably easier than day one and if you can survive like two months it's considerably easier than like the one month and it just gets easier and easier the longer you go and it's like oh it looks like really cool like damn he's killing thousands of zombies he must be really good at the game. The truth is, I'm not that much better than most other people. <laughs> it's just really fucking easy at this point. <laughs> yeah. As soon as you get that, like, level 7, level 8 weapon skill, it doesn't even matter what weapon type it is. You get to level 7, level 8, the game is just incredibly easy, combat-wise. Because you just one-tap everything. So then if you die beyond this point, it's usually just down to bad decision making. Zombies get weaker? Nah, that's not true. Zombies don't get weaker with time. It was supposed to be a setting before, but it's not a thing. Zombies are the same as they are now, as they were on day one. Looks uh, best of forage and keep your speed making. Level that skill up. I mean, at the start of the game, definitely. But the second you find a, a saw, it doesn't matter if it's a hacksaw or a garden saw. As soon as you get a saw, uh, it's better to cut down trees and make your spears via planks. Because otherwise you have to spend more time cutting down bushes to get tree branches or foraging to get tree branches and chipstone. And it's more time consuming that way. But yeah, early game, fantastic. Late game, there are better options. As soon as you're able to move on from rolling pins, yep, easier game, yep. <laughs> Died opening a door to two zombies, rip. Uh, is it possible to change settings like pinpoint hearing on single player? Or like, do you mean change it like mid game? If, if you're asking that, the answer is yes. You've got two options. You can either go through the hassle of going through the code yourself and just changing it to the right number. So it's just hearing equals and then you would change it to like, I think it's uh, three for pinpoint hearing. And the easier way is just to download the change sandbox mod, uh, change sandbox uh, settings mod. And then put that one onto your game, and then it just gives you the same menu as if you were setting up a new game again. Change it to pinpoint hearing, and then when you next load your game, you'll have pinpoint hearing zombies. And then you can just take the mod off afterwards. Yeah. But just to show it, just in case you are interested in that. Uh, where am I going? Where's Steam? Steam. Uh, fucking Steam apps. There you are. Uh, trying to find where Project Zomboard is. There you are. Oh wait, no, I'm on the wrong fucking one. Rip. <laughs> this. Um. So no, if you wanted to, like, change it yourself, so. You would just go to wherever you've got a Zomboid installed, saves, whatever difficulty you're playing on, and then uh, your game save. And the one you're looking for is... Where are you? Oh, fuck. Where are you? I don't want Z-pop, I want map. So many fucking things.
just scroll all the way up. Yeah, the game, fucking, my file's huge. <laughs> looking forward to deleting it. Oh, here we go. Uh, yeah, if you want to change your settings, the one you're looking for is... Uh, map Sand. That's the one you're left. You're after. So, you would just open up that one, and then it's all gobbledygook here. But you would just change like zombie hearing to four, wherever the fuck he is. There's probably a better application to open this up in, but yeah, it works in Notepad as well if you want to do it. <laughs> but yeah, that's what you would do if you want to change your settings, or you could download the Change Sandbox option mod. Personally, that's the one I would recommend if you want to fuck around with your settings halfway through your game. Because it's just easier. They need to edit so zombies become weaker with time. Time starvation. See, I'm pretty sure they were planning on doing that before. I can't remember a time where that setting actually worked, but there was an option in the past that you could enable in Sandbox to have zombies become weaker as time goes on. But as far as I'm aware, it never worked. So they got rid of it, I think. But that was a long time ago. That was a few years. But yeah, I don't know if it was ever working at any point, though. But yeah, it'd be cool if they brought it back, though. Decomposition sandbox setting. Decomposition setting. Which one are you talking about? Like, what's the actual setting name for it? Okay, to post links. Ah, uh, the links won't work in my chat. Just tell me what the setting is called. Like, what's what's the actual name of the setting that you're talking about? And what's the, the subtitle for it as well? Which categories is it in? I'm assuming it's just zombie. Zombies. <laughs> but yeah, what's the exact name of the setting? Notepad++ is your friend? Yeah. Notepad's always there to catch you. Let me get rid of you. Let's recall decomposition of the zombie setting. It takes them slowly, weakening over time. I swear that doesn't exist any... I don't know. Let me quickly just quit out. I just gotta get a little bit further away from them, otherwise they might despawn. Let me just have a quick gander. I'm probably just being a sponge and not remembering which part you're on about. It'll, like, it'll jog my memory if I can see it. <laughs> Let me have a, uh, a quick look then. I'm I thought they got rid of it, but maybe I'm just misremembering. Either we're all wrong or it's a null value. Yeah, like I don't I don't know who's right at this point. <laughs> I'll have a quick look though. Yeah, I appreciate the fellow as well done the lag five minutes ago. I missed that one. Uh but yeah. Let's have a quick gander. It's just under was it under advanced zombie options? Or zombie law? Uh what did you say? Under zombie settings. Uh Speed, strength, toughness, transmission, mortality, reanimation, cognition. Should be under memory. Should be under memory and above sight. Are you on the unstable branch, maybe? Because I think I'm on stable currently. You googled, googled Zomboys. 
Oh, you Googled Zomboid slows and weakens. Oh, if you Googled it, yeah, that's fucking years ago. Yeah, <laughs> like I said, they got rid of it. Yeah, that doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, because I, I, I remember what you were talking about. It used to be a, a saying that you could toggle on and off like that. But um, yeah, as far as I'm aware, it never worked, and they got rid of it. They just took it out of the, the options because it served no purpose being there. No, 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 it's fine. That's fine. <laughs> At least we're all on the same page now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, just to reiterate, it used to exist. You are right with that. It did used to be in the game years ago. But as far as I'm aware, it never worked. You know, we all used to think it worked, but it never actually did. So it would never change anything. And that's why they got rid of it. And they got rid of it, I think, when Build 41 came about. I think that's when they removed it. Like the option to toggle it on and off. My memory's a little bit hazy on that. It should be more or less right. <laughs> Plus one for Reddit gaslighting you. Appreciate the follow as well, Eddie. Happy days. I would like a setting like that to come about again, though. I think it'd be pretty cool. It'd give you more incentive to play smart and make it to, like, the late game, then. Hey, fire. Yep, back on the main grind, indeed. The marathon game continues. How's it going? Yeah, it's all good. We've done a decent amount so far. We've done about just under 2,400 kills so far. And it's taken about three and a half hours. But I've been doing a lot of, like, tutorial stuff as well. So I'm going a little bit slower than last time. But I should still make my 7,000 kill quota. So we'll still be on track to get to a million before the end of February. Which will be very nice. Recent first one. Oh yeah, I have a I had a gander with that. Yeah, I was posting all of their videos on my Discord. Yeah, it looks very good. I do like the look of the subterranean car park. It's like ooh, vehicles can now move up and down floors. Interesting. I do like the way they were talking about the basements as well. A little bit sad that they said that basements might not be coming in 42, like the unstable branch, like immediately on drop. Bit sad, but... The fact that they said that the basements can go down to minus 32 as well, because they're increasing the floor, floor limit up to 32, it's like, oh shit, so we're actually gonna get like proper like, huge basements then. It's not like one floor going down. It's like, no, you can go down 32 floors. It's like, fuck. That's a lot. <laughs> I want to see if they're going to make a really elaborate subterranean basement for the military base now. They have piqued my curiosity. Yeah, minus 32. Yeah, screams military complex. Yeah. Because they did say as well, their, their wording was... They were working on the procedurally generated basements and the basements that are going to be consistent as well. It's like, oh, that sounds like a military base basement. <laughs> it sounds like some POIs are always going to have the same ones over and over again. Looking forward to seeing that. Timing. Oh, too far. 
Alright, let's head back home though, it's nearly 10 o'clock. Want to go read that? Oh, it's a really good one. Yeah. It's a really, really good post this month. Really good. Looks very spicy. Seeing ramps so we can drive up and down. Yeah, it looks fucking awesome. I'm ho hoping that we can make them as well. Because they look fucking huge. Like, <laughs> the ramps for that, like, uh, subterranean car park. Uh, the ramp... Oh, fuck. How big was it? It looked like it was about, like, 10. 10 to 20 tiles long. It was huge. So I don't know if we're going to be able to build them or not. But even if we can... Like, even if we can't build them, like, making a little base at the bottom of a car park like that looks hilarious. <laughs> Bad place to get caught in, but it looks awesome. I imagine you get lost in something of that size. Oh, yeah, it's gonna turn into, um... It's gonna turn into bloody lethal company. Or, you know, uh, the SCP multiplayer game and stuff, where you're just trying to find your way out of the bloody basement. <laughs> yeah, it looks awesome. It looks really cool. Yeah, your luck, minus 32 floors, all paper survivor house, yep. 22 bags of concrete, yeah. I mean, hopefully we'll have a use for concrete, this build. Seeing as they're adding, like, brick walls, among other things, maybe we'll actually have a, a use for concrete and cement this time. Build some nice-looking walls and such. I'm hoping we'll be able to make basements as well, hopefully. But... I'm not entirely sure like, if we're going to be able to build our own basements or not, but I think it'd be pretty cool if we could. Imagine being on a multiplayer server and then just digging a two-tile-wide trench through the highway. <laughs> just watching people speed down the highway at like 70 miles per hour, just falling into a fucking ditch. <laughs> It'd be great. Appreciate the follow as well. Uh, N NK Zoo. Happy days. Hope they add sewers. Oh yeah, having a like Imagine if you had like an entire city like Louisville that had a sewer system. That would be really cool, because you could actually play like hopefully you'd be able to play on time 16 without having to wipe out everything. Because you could bypass some of the more like heated areas of the city then by going through the, the sewers and then popping out on the other side of town. That would be awesome. Yeah, that'd be fantastic. It'd be like playing on that episode of um Telltale's The Walking Dead on Season 1, where, like, Lee has to go through the, uh, the sewers and such. <laughs> yeah, Metro 2023, yeah. <laughs> Twice the investment of Wood Wars, yeah, for 10% more heat hit points, yeah. I'm hoping they'll be, like, more durable, because, I mean... I'm a, oh, well, I'm hoping the devs have learned their lesson from, like, metal walls and such, because you never see anyone making metal walls because they're just trash. Because even though they have more hit points than, like, wooden walls, there's no point building them because they're still so fragile. But hopefully they'll make it so brick walls are actually, like, tanky as fuck and they just can't be taken down easily. Fingers crossed. You know someone's gonna mod in sewers? Oh, it's gonna be awesome. Yeah, it'll be fantastic. Yeah, metal walls are ugly as well. Yeah. The me metal crates as well. Just everything with metal, apart from, like, the... The regular metal containers. Like, um... These ones. Apart from... Well, apart from the crate. But yeah, the counter and such, they look great. You know, that looks fine, but... The crate's ugly as fuck, and so is, um... All of the walls and the windows and... All of that stuff. Well, the gates don't look too bad, actually. But... Yeah, it all looks a little bit scuffed. How is the zombie hearing for different floors? Oh, it's just one. Uh, it acts like one tile. So, if, as an example, you made a sound that was 20 tiles, like, in volume, if I was on the second floor, everything around me within 19 tiles is going to hear that. If I was up two floors, everything within 18 tiles is going to hear me. And it just goes up and up and up like that. 
So if I was like, you know, if I made a sound that was 20 tiles loud, and I was on the 20th floor of a building, well, they'd hear me on the ground floor around me, but they wouldn't hear me, like, beyond that. But, um, yeah, it's... It doesn't decrease in, like, volume through walls or anything like that. It's literally just each floor acts as one tile. Yeah, 32 floor skyscraper. Hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to, like, hide on the, on the roof of buildings without anything hearing us on the ground floor. That'll be a nice change. Yeah, the vision kind of looks cool as well. Yeah, it looks very smooth. And the lighting change as well. Yeah, because you won't be able to just walk through buildings easily. You know, if you go into a warehouse that has no windows and it's completely sealed up, hopefully it'll just be like pitch black inside. You know, I am legend vibes. <laughs> it'll look cool as anything. Our fillet is better than whole fish. Been using a whole fish. Uh, the only difference between them, as they are currently, is I won't get any any unhappy any unhappiness when they're like this. So, if I if I had a pike that was a thousand calories, well, if I had two pikes and they were both a thousand calories, if I cut one of the pikes up and I got like two fillets from it, I'm just gonna have two fillets that are five hundred calories each. So the calories are gonna be exactly the same. But if I look at those fillets. It's gonna be like this, you know, it'll have like minus 19 hunger or something like that. But if I look at the fish, it'll be like minus 38 hunger, so exactly the same, or close enough to it anyway. But it's gonna have like plus 10 unhappiness or something like that. So it's just a way to avoid that little bit. Yeah, I've been sat for about another two hours, though, give or take. So I'm going to go stretch my legs again, make another coffee. And I will be back in about five minutes with all the caffeine. Happy days.
Right. And I'm back. Right. Who have I missed? Uh, calories can be used. Yeah, for recipes. Yeah, so you can get extra calories if you use them in recipes. Is filleting a fish reset the wrong timer? No. Right, what have I missed? Uh, yeah, I'm all caught up. Nice, happy days. No tarting. Yes, I'm a speedy boy today. Although, let me just take off my hoodie because I'm sweaty as fuck. Much better. Right. Appreciate the follow as well, sends. Right, that's all good. Let's drop off the ammo. And then we'll carry on back down south again. Speed, a kachu. Off we go. Although, I just realized I didn't actually eat any food because I was distracted. I was thinking about coffee. <laughs> Grab that really quickly. Awesome. And yeah, that's all turned off. My fucking good shower redeem. It's never gonna happen. I refuse. Right, oh yeah, another slow drive south again. And we'll find some more zombies. But we'll kill everyone, like last time. While we look for the big numbers. Yep, no power for four days. Toss the entire fridge, rip. Miss the integration, yeah. Yeah, the integration isn't coming back for runs like this. I don't mind doing it for like shorter runs though. Maybe some sprinter games in the future. Yeah, I probably won't do integration for a run like this again. <laughs> it slows things down too much. So it's just too many helicopters, so I can't get anything done. And it ends up being too boring. Yep, yeah, back on the bullshit. Fuck yeah, I am. All the zombie kills. Is it just getting emptier or less noise? No, it's just getting emptier. They're just getting really thinned out. But we went down south not too long ago to grab some more from Martridge in No Man's Land, so... We should have a group waiting for us. Did you beat the tutorial without injury? Yeah, we did it first try. <laughs> like, we did one... one half day of testing to see what we could, like, actually do, and then we did it the following day, and we did it Instantly. Yeah, place a piss. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Alright, we'll pull over. Grab all of these guys. Skills, yeah, you can have a quick 
quick gander. Yeah, pretty much everything's 10, except for aiming and reloading. They still have one level each, respectively. Gonna clear the lumber yard. It's already done. L literally everything's done. There's nothing left to clear except for No Man's and Marchridge. Everything else on the map, though. Apart from, well, that and the west side of Doe Valley. Everything's dead. <laughs> what do you mean, boo? I'm sorry I killed things before you saw it. <laughs> I'm too fast, apparently. Why integration slow things down? Oh, it's because people were calling it in, like, when I made a big group of zombies. So, the integration, like, I'd make a big group of zombies around my car, and then people would spam helicopters, which would then drag the zombies back out into the middle of nowhere. So then I'd have to waste time gathering all the zombies again, and then when I made another group of zombies, they would do the same thing again, and they would drag them all back out, so... Almost the entire stream, every single time, was just me trying to gather zombies to kill. And I just couldn't gather them in one place, because they just kept getting drawn off to other places, so... It slowed things down tremendously. To the point where it was just really boring to watch and really boring to play. <laughs> so I turned the integration off, because it was like, fuck it, nothing's getting done. So I gotta turn it off. But yeah, the integration is fun though, but... I just probably won't run it for a game like this again. How long has this taken in real time so far? This has been going on since about March last year, on and off. Right, that's all good. <laughs> the internet trolled lamp, they did. Was not pleased. <laughs> John Wicking zombies of John Wick was a Roman. A Roman? What? <laughs> I have no idea what that is. I guess I'm honored. <laughs> My character is secretly Italian. Now, how many do we have? It's a good little start. Hopefully more of them turn up. It's like a Spartan with a spear. Oh, okay. And a big air shield. Nice. Appreciate the follow flaming. Let's grab all of you.
Cool. Alright, let's see how many we have now. So we have plenty of time to form a decent group. Yes. Decent little group. Happy days. Let's cram some of you then. Shouldn't take that long to kill the rest around the car as well, because the group doesn't look too big at the moment. Sixteen, you get tired. That was a group of eighty. Now, sixty isn't like a hard number. I don't know where you're getting that from. You counted the kills. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know where you're getting the. Oh, you're on about like the exertion thing. I thought you were on about like I had to get I had to get exerted at 60. I was like, I don't know where you're getting that from. <laughs> oh, fair play. That was like 20 over then. First and only warning now, Scorched. We've already had this conversation. Don't be repeating questions and shit. You've already asked that today. Don't be doing that.
Got a katana. Nice. That's the second one today. A little junk. Right. How many kills am I on? Oh, we're nearly on the 3000 mark now, anyway. Nice. Happy days. Should get over that in just a moment. in the stream almost yeah started on 60 and change so yeah i get like another 300 ish give or take and then we're on 3000 and then we'll have 4000 to go so i want to do seven that's my minimum as usual Uh, oh, to be fair, there's not that many of you left.
They're making stuff. Do you use any other methods for killing them? Nah, we don't really do any burning. Just because fire doesn't count towards your kill count. And that's like the main focus of the run. So the goal currently is to get that into a million. You but if I run over zombies, it doesn't count. And if I burn them, it doesn't count. So it's only melee weapons and guns that can increase that number. So that's all we use. Let's grab the last few. Already have the ingredients for a birthday cake? I think so. See, the only thing we ever struggle with is getting yeast, but I'm pretty sure I have everything. I think I have enough for at least one more birthday cake. But yeah, six. Duke as well. Hello, hello. Still at it? Yeah, it's still chipping away. Almost there. But not really. But almost there. But not really. <laughs> Slowly getting there. And we should end today on something between 867 and 8... Uh, yeah, 867 and 870. Something between... That area. close calls? Not today. No, it's been really chill. No close encounters at all, really. Yeah, nothing even remotely close. Nah, it's just been nice and chill. We had to go all the way down to Marchridge earlier, because we're running out of zombies in Muldra. I keep having to go south now to pull them up north, but we've got another little group to kill. And we're just slowly making our way back down south again. Yeah, not too bad so far. I yeah, hope everything is good on your end, though. Still chill. issues getting back into a rhythm not really like after the first hour like it's a little bit hit or miss i'll get used to it again for like the first 30 60 minutes and then after that it's just like normal you know it's like riding a bike 
it's kind of hard to forget how to do it because it's nice and simple. Yeah, just waiting for 42. Nude. Yep. <laughs> late so let's go drive south again try and find a few more and then we'll just drive back up north in a minute and then we'll just drag them all the way back home it's 42 getting uh gonna break oh, a bunch of mods oh yeah without doubt yeah i mean most of the map mods should be fine it's literally just updating them really quickly um that's what they said in the last thursday post anyway but, uh, yeah, like, most of the mods, they're all gonna need to be updated, I reckon, but most of them should be fine. Like, the modders are, like, well, all the popular mods, at least, they'll probably be updated within, like, the first week or two, without, like, that much hassle. And some mods might die. Some of the older ones that have just been abandoned, they might just not get updated, because the mod creator just has no interest in it anymore. But, um... Yeah, it'll be fun and games. Release dates? No, they don't do release dates. Uh, they've given us an approximation. Anytime between now and the, well, halfway point of this year they're aiming for. So they said they're aiming for the first half of 2024, but that's as good as you're going to get, really. So, it, it could come out today, it could come out tomorrow, it might not come out for a few more months. And even then, they said they're aiming for it. There's no guarantee it's going to come out. You know, something might break along the way and then they might get delayed a bit, so it might not even come out until towards the end of the year. But there's no telling, you know, it's all just a guessing game. Yep, the first of when it's done exactly. <laughs> But it'll be worth the wait in the end. And besides, I'm kind of glad it's going to take a little bit longer anyway, because it gives me a chance to finish this run. <laughs> I'm not feeling any pressure to like go any any faster than what I'm currently doing at the moment. I usually give a heads up a month before. See, I can't remember, actually. They don't really do release dates, but I can't remember what 41 was like. I'm pretty sure 41, they just dropped it. On the stable build, at least. They went from unstable to stable, just like that. Snap of the fingers. No notice. They just threw it out there instantly. Um, I can't remember when the unstable build came out, though, for 41. I can't remember what the launch for that was like. Because that was years ago. That was like half a decade ago. <laughs> it's like, it's a long time. Yeah, and I'm sure they'll give, like, a last heads up in, like, the third story post that comes before it, probably. They'll hint at it, with probably. Yep, there goes a tire. I'm sorry, Aphrodite. I have no plans on replacing that anytime soon. Can you give advice? Best place in... Oh, to base in Rosewood? I like the, uh... I like the bus depot, personally. But it depends what you're after, but I like being near water so I can do fishing. So I normally base down here. If I like, if I choose anything within this area, I normally go either here or here, just so I can fish easily. And I got a gas station right next to me. But it depends where you want to go. Most people who do Rose would normally go for the fire department. They either do fire department, this corner house, or one of these houses over here, because because it's a like little fenced off area. But you know. Depends what you're after and how you like to play.
Sounds like they're being really sensible too, integrating each major pillar changes in testing. Yeah, anytime they like go for like a next huge update like that and they go to a completely new build, it takes fucking ages. But they're normally quite thorough with it. Like when 41 came out on Unstable, I don't remember it being that buggy at all. Like it worked fine. Like they're normally pretty good with it. It's not going to be a complete mess when they launch it, but they always put it on the Unstable branch first so they can get more play testing done. And then after like, well, if it's going to be anything like Build 41, it'll be a couple of years, I reckon. A, at least a year, probably, on Unstable before they put it on the Stable branch. Unless they're going to be like really speedy with it this time. Because last time 41 was on Unstable for an absolute lifetime. Needs more ponds and creeks. Yeah, I mean, maybe. Maybe they'll, they'll change that. Cause, I mean, they're updating the whole map. Slightly. I think it's more of a facelift for buildings, but maybe they'll add more lakes and little ponds and such to fish from. Especially with the fishing update. Maybe they'll add some more things. But you've got at least like one or two areas for every town that you can fish from, so it's not too bad. Like, fishing is viable almost anywhere on the map. Apart from Martridge, really. That's like the only place that doesn't have a pond. Right. Good stuff. The car has a name like Rebecca? Yeah, it's Aphrodite. Because she brings all the boys to the yard. He's very loud. Down the time? No. No, I'm saving all my katanas for another time. So, I'm collecting as many katanas as I can because in the future, I want to try and beat my character's PB for like most kills in one day. Because the most he's done in one day is 1,607 within 24 hours. But I think you could probably do 2,000 if you're like really efficient. So. I want to collect enough katanas so I can kill 2,000 zombies within one day. Well, I can't... Oh, I've already done that. I can't remember what I'm up to at the moment. I think I'm close to 20, though. The only area of the map with areas? With a... F what is there a store is? Oh, without a fishing area. Oh, yeah, but no one's ever going to live out there because it's nowhere near anything. When I was talking about, like, places that don't have lakes, I'm on about, like, cities and towns. Yeah, no one's going to live out here. And, I mean, you got that one. It's a bit far, but you got that as well, but... Yeah. Realistically, most players aren't going to go out there because there's fuck all there, you know. And no one wants to travel all this way every single day to get to a, a city or a town. <laughs> but yeah, it is a bit of a barren area over there, though. True. Yeah, hello, oatmeal. Hello, hello. What would be the strat for an IRL zombie apocalypse? Gather about a month's worth of food and water ahead of time and then just hide. Because they'll literally just start to death, you know? Think 28 days later. It's basically just that. <laughs> they'll be like immobile within like, what, the first two weeks? Two to four weeks, they'll run out of food and they'll all just starve and become motionless. Just hide in your attic. <laughs> Boom, done.
All right, good stuff. Here's a game of fishermen with a boat, yeah. Man, zombies are just never gonna be a thing. It's just not gonna happen. And even if it did happen, if you thought about it logically, they just wouldn't live very long. <laughs> yeah. I need a bit more speed. Yeah, I'll replace the tire at some point, but it's fine for now. What about alien spores? <laughs> Obligatory sarcasm. Nah, it's 100% real on those. The alien spores are gonna get us. <laughs> anyway, joke's on you. I always wear my tinfoil hat, so I'm gonna live forever. I am protected. Zambus. was a half as interesting video on how the US could respond to an apocalypse. Yeah, I reckon it's just like how would the US respond to an apocalypse and it just links you to the video for uh, meet the engineer for TF2. <laughs> use gun. And if that doesn't work, use more gun. <laughs> I reckon it's just that video. That's the response. Zombies invade guns. But there's lots of them. More guns. Poor car. I know, I'm beating her up at the moment. Rip. It's fine though. So I'll give her a little TLC at some point. So I gotta replace the tire as well. So the acceleration for those cars are terrible when they're missing a wheel. Especially when it's a rear wheel as well. As long as the engine works, I'm a happy chappy. Let's grab all of you. Not too many more.
Hammer katanas faster than spears? They're not. That's the answer to that one. <laughs> Just the durability of them, so you don't have... Wait. Hammer katanas faster than spears? Just the durability of them, so you don't have to spend so much time switching weapons? I don't know what you're asking. That doesn't make sense. How I'm reading it, at least. Unless I'm just misreading it. Katanas are slower than spears. Just the durability of them, so you don't have to spend so much time switching weapons. I, I don't know what you mean by the last part. You might have to reword it, because my, my monkey brain can't understand. One infected person gets on the military base, starts attacking it from within. Yeah, but then you just have, like, an entire barracks filled with infantrymen, uh, infantrymen, who've just finished, like, basic, and they're just staring at that one zombie because they've never been on deployment, and they just all in unison just whisper, Oh lord, I'm about to bust, because they've not been deployed yet. <laughs> It's like, oh my god, it's a live target. It's something I get to shoot at. No, it's not even, well, it's, it's kind of alive. It's moving, at least. I'll take it. Said so you were saving katanas. Oh, you went about that part. Fair. No, saving katanas because they're more stamina efficient. So the, the katana is slower than the spears, in terms of like swing speed. But the reason why I'm going to use katanas instead of spears to try and get more kills is because they don't use as much stamina. And because they don't use as much stamina, there'll be less time in the day. I have to spend resting, so I'll be able to get more kills overall. They're just more efficient in terms of like how many kills you can get within 24 hours than spears. You gonna try Power World? Nope. I have no interest in Power World. Pokemon type games aren't really my thing. I was never really been too into Pokemon. Or anything similar to it. Even if it does have slavery. <laughs> it's like, fuck it, it's a bit like Kenshi. Interested. Yeah, but it's like Pokemon. Less interested. No Katana take down multiple Zs? No. If you play with multi-hit turned off, every single weapon can only hit one zombie. Except for firearms. Except for some of the rifles and the shotguns. That's the exception. Even, has, even if it has slavery, yeah. Lamprey Law, the law expands, yeah. I mean, slavery should be frowned upon. However, historically, it does get shit done. <laughs> but heavily frowned upon. <laughs> yes. Accidentally endorsing slavery in video games. I will stress. <laughs> Gonna log back in tomorrow and find out my Twitch has been taken down. It's so English it hurts, okay? You can't argue that slavery didn't get shit done. <laughs> it's completely immoral, but goddamn. Who would have thought that free labor was so productive? It just... It's a shame that it involves being a real evil piece of shit. <laughs> Says that one little hiccup. That one little downside, as like, ah oh, yes, I have to deprive someone of their freedom. But, uh, Kenshi's great for slavery. <laughs> Sentence I didn't think I'd say. But yeah, if you're into, uh, games that have slavery, Kenshi's fucking goated, it's great. You spend every five minutes on that game just getting kidnapped and turned into a slave. And then escaping. And then getting knocked out and then made into another slave. 
Yeah, I'm not saying slavery was good, but... Yeah. <laughs> Sentences you probably shouldn't finish. You must have multi-hit on. Yeah, if, if your katana is hitting more than one zombie, you've got multi-hit enabled. Or you're running some sort of mod for it. One or the other. <laughs> like, last to realize it was bad. At least we're not Belgian. When the, like, I'm assuming Belgian got rid of slavery as well, <laughs> if you're mentioning it, but like... Did they get rid of it really late? I don't know the years for every country. <laughs> I'm worried now. When did Belgium get rid of slavery? Or multiple nations of Africa. Oh yeah, but it's Africa. Africa's miles behind. It's just tons of third world countries. It is incredibly spicy. We still have plantation-style prisons. What the fuck is a plantation-style prison? <laughs> I'm gonna need, like, an explanation on that. I don't know a lot about Americans and their prison systems. Brussels Anti-Slavery and Conference. 1889-1890 was held for... 18th of November. RIP. That's really close, yeah. <laughs> I thought I'd be I thought I'd be further back than that. A little concerning. to work fields and have guards on horses watching them. <laughs> so I can't tell if you're taking the piss now or not, because that just sounds too comical. <laughs> like, I can't tell if you're bullshitting or not. Slavery is banned, except for convicts. See, it depends what they've been arrested for. Like, it depends what they're serving their time for. I'm not opposed to, like, getting pedos and, like, murderers doing that shit, because they don't exist as human beings in my eyes at that point. It's like, nah, I'd, I'd rather you be dead personally, but slavery will do. But... <laughs> but do they do it to, like, literally everyone, even, like, petty crimes? Like, let's say you had, like, little 18-year-old Joe Average who steals, like, I don't know, let's say he steals a thousand dollars worth of stuff and he goes to jail. Like, is he gonna be made to, like, work in one of those prisons as well? Because that's a bit rough. <laughs> that kind of sucks for them. Swing and a miss. It's a full profit system. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Because we've got to have money. <laughs> Average non-violent drug offender goes to jail. Let's have a read. 
goes to jail too, and if he's lucky, he gets picked up. He gets picked to be able to do labor for petties. No, oh, so they earn money when they're there, but basically fuck all fair. Every person oh, that makes the wait. prison system. You're being sarcastic. Oh, okay, fair. He's fun. I like him. Cool hand, Luke. It's about a prisoner in a plantation style prison. Cool. I've never heard of that one. Yeah, I think the closest I've ever seen for a movie about the American prison system would be The Green Mile, but I think that's a little bit dated at this point. <laughs> I love that movie. Oh, it's such a good movie. Yeah. It's like, oh, fucking... One of the last little scenes when he sat on the chair, it's like, please don't put it on my head, boss. I was afraid of the dark. It's like, shit, it's enough to make a grown man cry. <laughs> like, I'm not crying, okay? I've just got something in my eye, okay? Fuck off. <laughs> yeah, really good movie. Oh, Shawshank. I completely forgot about Shawshank. Somehow completely slipped my mind. Yeah. Really good movie. Now, The Green Mile's my favorite of the two, but yeah, Shawshank's amazing. There's an absolute gut wrench. Yeah, that's what you were thinking of too? Yeah, fucking horrible scene. <laughs> It's so good, but it's like, oh god, I feel horrible. I feel terrible. Why is this movie making me feel things? I've just got John Coffee in my eyes. <laughs> Isn't are they both from King? I know Shawshank is. I don't know about the Green Mile. I thought I heard a zombie. Yeah, they was. Yeah, they made the uh, the young. The young guard watch, yeah, because he didn't put the sponge on his head, so... He just fried him. Yeah, and they made him, uh, they made him watch, yeah. They're both from King? Oh, okay, that explains it then. Good stuff. Yeah, both great movies. Young Tom Hanks and Morgan Freeman. Don't you lie. There is no such thing as a young Morgan Freeman. He came out of the womb looking like that. Morgan Freeman has always been a well-aged gentleman. <laughs> he was already grey, filled with like old man freckles the second he was born. I've never seen him look like super young. He's always been like that. <laughs> he just doesn't age. He always looks exactly the same. Just a gentle old man. You've got me curious now. I want to ruin my day. Let's have a look at young Morgan Freeman. There's got to be a picture. Teenage Morgan Freeman. <laughs> I want to see what he looks like as a as a young man. See, he still looks like an old man there. Like he doesn't look. He doesn't look that young. He still looks like a young man. Well, an old man. <laughs> like, he's always been an old man. Always. That's incredibly fucking cursed. <laughs> I 
Oh, let's get rid of the jacket, because you're a sweaty boy. Yeah, it's just at that set age forever. He's always been wise, yeah. He's always been wise, old man Freeman. <laughs> You've seen him in the last three years, he's somehow super ancient. Is he? I don't... I can't remember the last time I saw him. What was he in? Let's have a look. Morgan Freeman... 2024. Or 2023. Um... How old is that picture? That's from 2023, apparently. I don't know, I think it's because he shaved his head. I think it's because he's like got no hair anymore. He looks a, uh... He looks a little old there. I think it's the hair. I think he just looks older, bald. Little mustache. <laughs> yeah, he does look pretty old there, doesn't he? He's finally started aging again. <laughs> he's like 80 now, yeah, he's pushing, isn't he? He's getting on. They stop drinking human blood. Something, something tinfoil hat. See, so, I want to see pictures of when Keanu Reeves or Paul Rudd start aging. So I bet it's going to hit, like, Paul Rudd looks incredibly young for how old he is. I want to see a picture of Paul Rudd when he starts aging. I bet it's going to hit him like a fucking brick wall. I bet he's just going to go, like, instantly into old man just one day. So I swear Paul Rudd is like in his 50s. Well, he's close to his 50s, I swear. But the, the man looks like he's in his like late 30s. Oh, he's Avery... I don't know who that is. Jennifer Aniston. I think Jennifer An Aniston started getting a bit on, isn't she? She's in her 50s, right? Let's have a look at what Jennifer Aniston looks like now. Yeah, she's one of those ones that somehow always looks young, isn't she? Oh yeah, she still looks quite young for how old she is. Yeah, how old are you now? Yeah, she's 54. She doesn't look that... She doesn't look her age. She looks incredibly young. I can't bring it up on screen, because it's... <laughs> it's Jennifer Aniston, so Google is naturally not going to show me uh, pictures for stream. <laughs> but yeah. No, she looks incredibly young. Yeah, Paul Rudd's 54. Yeah, he looks so young for how old he is. Famous singer? Ah, fair play. I'd probably recognize them if I saw a picture. I just... I'm terrible with names. stuff.
Uh, she made Skater Boy. Oh, okay, yeah, I know who you're on about now. Yeah, I can't remember what she looks like, but yeah, I I know who you're on about. Fuck it, I gotta Google it now. You, you've got to be curious. I want to see how young she looks. <laughs> okay, what was her full name again? There it is. I wonder how much they spend, like, how much money do they dedicate just to looking young? <laughs> or if it's just really good genetics. Yeah, she looks really young. How old is she? Uh, how old are you? 39 years old. Yeah, she doesn't look 39. Oh, good for you. Yeah, it's like, yeah, 39, 40 ish, yeah. Give me a chunk. So I should be able to hit the 864 mark before the end of this day. Did you hit 10,000 spears? Yeah, we hit 10,000 spears at the start of the stream. Yeah, it's updated. Yeah, it's updated manually as well. Yeah, we tried it at the start of this run, updating it manually after I break them, but it's like, oh, it's too much effort. So we just update it when we make them. Appreciate the follow as well, okay. Yes. Yep. Once we go back tonight, we'll take our shotgun out tomorrow and we'll do some shooting. So I've got plenty of shotgun ammo now. Five years now. We have great patience and a lot of spears. <laughs> Nano machine, some. If you enjoy the latest war crime simulator, uh, if you're talking about Pal World, no, I've never played Pal World, and I never will. 
<laughs> I don't know why it's so popular. I don't hate it, but I've got no interest in it. But yeah, it's just, I'm not really into Pokemon type games. That's just it. Alright, where's, there he is. Shotgun man. Look how much time? Uh, this has been about 1400 to 1500 hours, more or less. And we've been playing it since about March of last year. And to keep supplies up after five years, loot from dead bodies. Um, well, hunting knives and hunting knives, kitchen knives, and meat cleavers and stuff from the dead bodies, so I can keep making spears. But everything else, it just don't need it. You know, like all the tools, you only need to find one of them because they don't use up any durability when you craft things with through uh, carpentry or metalworking or repairing cars or anything like that. So I don't need to find any more of those. And then food-wise, it's all just fishing for the most part and foraging. So there's not really anything to get from dead bodies or looting houses anymore. It's just... Well, it's just that we've won, you know. There's nothing else to look for. That mission, son, yeah. I just got my Bury the Light playing in the background 24-7. It keeps me motivated. Anyway, and then when we come back out tomorrow, shotgun time, we'll do a bit of shooting, get a little bit more of aiming experience. Yeah, because we grabbed the chunky one this time. That's good. Siren's lower battery? Yeah. If you have the engine running, you'll be fine. It's the same with headlights, you know. It's the same as it is IRL. You know, if you have the radio or the headlights or the uh, siren like light bar turned on, but you don't have the engine running, you're gonna kill the battery. But if the engine's running, you'll be fine. The engine will charge the battery.
you've free room. Yeah, it's, it's not supposed to be there. Good stuff. And we got over the 64,000 mark. Nice. Let's start heading back then. I've got an hour. We'll come back down here tomorrow with our shotgun in hand and do a bunch of aiming. Yeah, it's gun time temperature. I'll get a little bit closer. Just a tad. To level 10. Not too bad, because we should. With the ammo I have. I don't know, get, well, I should be able to get at least a thousand experience, but hopefully we'll get about two thousand or so. Two, three thousand. You have any near deaths? I've been grabbed, like, probably. If we include everything, I've probably nearly been grabbed like a dozen times or so. Like, I've made a number of mistakes along the way where I've just uh, misclicked. Or I've been sat down when I shouldn't. You know, and I've had zombies get really close to grabbing me. I've been grabbed once. We've had a targeting bug that happened on year three, I think. Year two, year three. It's about 500,000 kills ago, more or less. 550,000 kills ago. Yeah, we've had that one, but that's been pretty chill for the most part. We haven't had any, like, major things where, like, we've come really close to dying. Like, I've been trapped in a house, or I've been cornered anywhere, or I've been grabbed by multiple zombies, and I've been stun-logged or anything like that. Been really good. It's almost a perfect game, really. Almost. <laughs> Not quite, though. And we are home a little bit early as well. Fantastic. Your character dies. The visible green indicator for the melee push. Oh, he was on, but the zombie wasn't pushed. Yeah, there are one or two little bugs with the targeting like that. And then you can be aiming like a little bit off to the side, and then it, you know, obviously it'll still be highlighted, but you won't hit them. Yeah, it's a little bit spicy sometimes. Uh, I don't need that one with me. Spears and knives can get animation lock. Yeah, I mean, spears can. Spears are easy to fuck up naturally. The knives, though... I've seen... one clip where it was just really scuffed. Like, 
to fuck up with the hunting knife and lock yourself in that animation, you kind of, like, really have to fuck up. The only one I've seen that was, like, really dumb was a clip that Allison had where they did the animation for a zombie on the other side of a fence. But the damage just doesn't connect at all. It was, like, really silly how it works. That one was, like, super scuffed. <laughs> but yeah, there are some, like, weird things that can happen, but... Unfortunately, most of them can be avoided. That'll do. Also, grab some water. The game stresses you out, and no, that's fair. Every time you open your character when the uh, counter updates? I oh, know the counters update automatically without this. It's just. It's nice to have a look and just see if I'm gaining weight here. You know, the, the kill counter and the survival counter, they all update on their own, which is nice, convenient. But the, the kill counter, I had to edit it slightly because it chugs the stream, which is hilarious. <laughs> But the frame rate goes to shit if I if it updates constantly, so I have to have it update every ten minutes in game time instead. Yeah, five digits. Yeah, 10,000 spears. It's very spicy. Right, let's go grab our shotgun then. And... Uh... Nah, I'll be fine. To be fair, I'll leave some of you behind. I don't need all of you. You see about 42? Yeah, I've seen the posts. Looks very spicy. Yeah, the multi-level car park that they showed off in the last one looked hilarious. Um, yeah, that's everything I need. Cool, let's go. Let's go murder some zombies. And we'll get that aiming leveled up a little bit. Quite a long run today, though. The car is miles away. Ah, well. We should just be able to grab the entire group today, though. Just blast them all. Should be able to hopefully get a nice little kill count. Get up to like 4,500, 4,700-ish.
Rip. I'm making hopefully we'll have the zombies from the south coming up as well. But we'll keep going down there. So I want to get A everybody. Oh, the zombies. A little storm rolling in. Good stuff, we're all close together now. Awesome. stuff. Let's grab all of you and then we'll start going south again. Yeah, spicy. It's very good. And we've already gone up about 300 experience so far, so it's very nice. Yeah, here they come. Nice. Make sure they all group up now. 
So many corpses here. It's all self defense, it's glorious. See Daisy, I accidentally a genocide. Imagine if all of that was sprinters. Oh, it's quite easy to picture that, really. Just picture my screen black with the words in the center saying, This is how you died. <laughs> As I start a new game with a new character. So I will get absolutely mauled to death. Sprinters are insane. Oh, sprinters are great. Yeah, they're really fun. Completely different way of fighting. Nice and refreshing.
Come on, get a miss. Appreciate the follow as well. Trees. Happy days. Good stuff. And what are we up to now then? Alright, so we got just under 1000 experience from that. So I think we got like 800, 900, give or take. And we've still got uh, over half of our shells left because we had about 400 ish to start with. So that's not too bad. So we should be able to get up to the 2000 mark quite easily. Right, yeah, I'm going to run off for five minutes though, stretch my legs again, and I will be back shortly.
Right. Happy days. Let's try and run all the way down to the car this time and try and gather up whatever's left. Shouldn't be that much further than there. Should be just... Yeah, there he is. Oh, nice and empty though. Convenient. drive you a little bit further south. It's bound to be more down here. And plus I can get my other cars back then as well. There's normally quite a few that comes around from the fence over there. the door. <laughs> Let me just drag you around here for a second, just so I can move that car further back, otherwise I won't be able to get him later. You could come over here, that'd be great. We'll grab all of you as well. We should end up with a good number.
Alright, let's see what else you have for me. Yeah, good stuff. Big groups. So ideally, hopefully that won't break. But yeah, hopefully I can get through all the shotgun ammo today. Oh yeah, good numbers. Awesome. We're set for zombies then for the rest of the stream. I reckon. I think I'll run out of that. Not out of frames before zombies. Yeah, true. Right. Oh, hello. Who's a what? Let them know men did this. Where's the man I'm after? Because there is a guy down here who has a shotgun. I had no ammo. Can't remember where you are. Are you? Nope. 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 You had ammo. Pretty sure it was further, further up. Hopefully I haven't buried him under all the dead bodies. So I know he's not past the intersection. Let's go finish off the rest of this ammo then. So I've got, yeah, 176 shells left. Hello, old father. Hello, hello.
Let's get you all into one chunky ball. Are you winning yet? Always, always winning. Perpetual winning. They appear to have broken my audio. <laughs> That's so strong that they broke the sound exactly. They're too powerful. Everybody run. Same as they always come from Fredo, it's no man's land. They're all from the edge of the map. Hasn't changed.
so many left. And looks like I'll take the shotgun with me tomorrow as well, because I don't think I'm going to use all of this. I might. Well, I think I might have a little bit spare. See if there's any left around here. I'd rather use up all the ammo now if I can. Squad wipe. Beautiful. Nah, looks to be all of them. That's cool though. I'll use up the last of the ammo tomorrow then. There's more zombies down south. Yeah. Too bad. And we went up, yeah, about 2,000 experience from all that ammo. Very nice. Yep, shooting a stat grind. Yep. Living the dream. Slowly getting there. Let's, let's have a quick gander. Yeah. Once I use up the last of this ammo, we'll do the math on it and see like how many boxes I need. How many more do I have to go? So it should be... I'm trying to think. 60? 50, like 50 to 60 maybe? Might be a little bit more than that. But yeah, should be about... I want to say 60 to 70. That's my guess. Hello, Trooper. Hello, hello. Yep, a little, little marathon for the reloading and then... Bish bash bosh. Done. Sorted. Level 10 and everything. Right. Home, sweet home. And yeah, I'll let you have an early night because you've been tired for a while. Give him five hours, that's plenty. It's more than what he needs. Let's go get some food and then we'll go back down. Good stuff. Yeah. With the amount of zombies that we saw yesterday though, we should be fine. In terms of like finding them now, they should be pretty easy. 
to grab in large groups. Shouldn't have to like do any more horde making today. Time to sleep? Yeah, only 134,000 to go. Yearning there. Thanks. It sounds like a lot when we say it like that, but when it's like, ah, oh, 134,000 to go. Oh, that's so many. We've already killed 865,000. Okay, it doesn't sound like that much anymore. <laughs> it doesn't sound as bad. Yeah, getting there. Just check the back of my truck for any more shotgun shells, and then we'll ditch the katana, and then we're good to go. And we'll use up the last of the ammo today, and then we'll switch over to the spears again. Yeah, no shells. Yeah, we got 17. Yeah. 18 katanas total. Nice. Nearly on 20 katanas then. So we'll be able to do another, um... Another session where we try and get the most kills within 24 hours. Might try and do that tomorrow or sometime this week. We'll have to try and get, like, a big group of zombies, like, right up here next to the house. And then see if we can kill 2,000 within one day. So I still think it's possible. Just need the right setup for it. We should start running into some zombies now. Yeah, there's one already. out here.
Right, and time to jog my memory. Just so I can see exactly uh, how much experience I'm getting. So I can't remember how much you get, but it's always the same, if I remember rightly, regardless of damage. What am I on? Uh, 2417.63. Cool. And let's see what we get. Right, what am I on? 2422.83. Cool, about 5.2 experience then. Nice. Hello, drunk. Yep. Yeah, everyone's just chilling. Everyone's in lurk mode at the moment. Because <laughs> it's just chilling and killing. Has runs lasted five years? Yeah, game time. One hour days. Uh, but yeah, what do I have left? I've got... Uh, 6,500... 77.13. Cool. Cool, so I need about 1,200 shotgun shells, more or less. How many boxes is there? Uh, 52. Cool. That's less than what I thought then. Like, that's considerably fewer. So yeah, we should only need 52 boxes of shotgun ammo to hit level 10. Uh, not including what I have here. Awesome. got a doctor's appointment for a knee injury. Rip. Well, hopefully it's nothing significant. Hopefully it's just a little minor thing. Hope that goes well. Is there any way to get your exact game settings? Yeah, just type in exclamation mark settings and just copy everything in your own game. Last four shells. Let's go have a rest. There's a few too many. Yes, lots of thin axes. Anyway, a secret closet axe player. Just role playing as a spear player, I swear.
so I had like 15 sprinters. Yeah, I've secretly like thrown down like a handful of sprinters for each town. I just never told you guys. They've just been there waiting. <laughs> yeah, every town just has like a small cluster of them waiting in the bathroom somewhere. I've only killed those 865. Yeah, it's all for irony. Yeah. <laughs> this is my post ironic spear build. I don't actually like spears. <laughs> I'm just a mega hipster survivor. Yeah, welcome back, cat, as well. Hello, hello. Alright, let's run all the way down south to our decoy car now. Unless we run into another group. Yeah, I want to look for the. The bigger hordes. Yeah, to be fair, there's a few of you around here. Just try and turn that generator on temporarily, just to get them all in one spot again. Also, I think I can hear someone knocking on my door. Give me one second. Nothing important. Right. Making you want to try and oh, start a new run and actually try and survive? Do it. I believe in you. One year survival. You can do it. Yeah, would you like to join our church? No, thank you, sir. I've already got a religion. I worship at the altar of the spear. All hail God King Jeremy.
Alright, tidy. You're still getting with a new build? Yeah, it's guaranteed. Like, build 42 comes out, build 41 and 42 saves aren't going to be compatible. So you'll have to start a new game if you want to play on that one. Awesome. And you make sure you don't do oh, the stabbing animation. You just make sure you have a zombie next to the one you're attacking. So like, if I stab that guy, I you know, would do a spear animation because there's no one next to him currently. But now that he has friends next to him, the game won't do the animation ever. You can't do it. But it doesn't matter which side they're on, whether it's side side or there's one behind them. As long as there's a zombie adjacent to the one you're attacking, you'll always do the slash attack. But if you have a guy like this that has no one next to him, it's just gonna have a chance of doing the spear animation instead. And as far as I'm aware, that increases, like the chance of that increases with your spear level. Although I do not know 100%. But yeah, TLDR, if you just want to avoid doing the stab animation, just make sure there's another guy next to the one you're attacking. That's it. Nice and simple. Nice and easy. Um, yeah, let's grab all of you.
Right. Where did they all come from? Ah, oh, they're all from No Man's Land. So, all the way down south, and all the way southeast, and all the way east. They're all from the edge of the map. So I keep purposely making tons of noise so I can draw them in. Because currently, the only town that we haven't cleared is Martridge. But Martridge alone doesn't have enough zombies to get me to a million kills, so... We're butchering everything on the edge of the map, where we normally wouldn't be killing them from. 12 AMP? You're officially 17. Congrats. You are nearly an adult. Almost. <laughs> and then the real adventure begins. Taxes! Fuck yeah! <laughs> yeah, it's not too many more. Then they spawn from time to time? Not on this one, no. On the default games, like Apocalypse and Survivor and Builder, all of those ones. It's every three days, and it's 10% max pop. So 10% of that area's maximum population will respawn every three days. In areas that you haven't been to for about 16 hours. So they're not gonna spawn, like, directly on top of you, or anything like that. But on this one, because we have such a high population, we don't have any need for respawns. Even though nothing respawns, there are more zombies than I'll ever kill, realistically. There's millions of them. Is this the current world record? Uh, for kills, yeah. Survival time is Vanishing Tower currently, as far as I'm aware. He's done an entire stream to run as well, but he's about a month ahead of me, I think. I think he's on five years... Nine months, give or take. Broken spear left on the ground of despawn? Nah, they just left there because can't be bothered to get rid of them properly. And contrary to what people think, Items on the ground don't really affect performance that much. Like, load time's a little bit if there's too many items, but frame rate, once you've loaded things in, it runs fine. Makes no difference. It takes, like, thousands upon thousands of items to make the game chug like that, and there's not that many spears in a single local area, so it doesn't make much of a difference. You think this character will make it to the resub- Oh, to build 42? Oh yeah, easily. Yeah. So the devs say they're aiming for the first half of this year, but unless they release it before the end of February, we'll hit a million by that time, and then that's the end of the game. I should have level 10 aiming, level 10 reloading, and have my 1 million kills by that point. And the rest of my, my computing power. I mean, if you're running a potato, a, like a complete potato, yeah, it's probably going to chug your game a bit. But if you're running anything that has a graphics card and like enough dedicated RAM, I don't imagine it's going to chug. Like my computer isn't that high end. It's not a super spicy boy anymore. I haven't updated my PC, like my main components, in about like five years, give or take, like four or five years, and it still runs easily. Yeah, blood rinses it. Yeah, blood's horrible. Hopefully it gets better though. So, I mean, they're doing lots of performance changes for 42, so hopefully blood can actually run. Fingers crossed, because it'd be fun to have blood turned back on again. Everybody loves the sight of it. Appreciate the follow as well, Chris. Happy days. Uh, 
Right. You have an ultra cold? Yeah, it, the problem with blood is it grows, like, it chugs your performance exponentially the longer your game goes on for, and the more zombies you kill. So initially, it doesn't make any difference whatsoever. It's gonna run fine. But because blood never despawns, it only fades slightly. The more zombies you kill, the more blood sprites you have in the world. And they never get removed. They're there permanently. So if you imagine, like, killing a few hundred zombies at the start of the game, you know, maybe several hundred blood sprites, because it happens every time you hit a zombie. Not gonna be that bad. If you survive a year, though, and you've killed a few thousand, that's gonna be, like, several thousand, if not, you know, 10, 20 thousand blood sprites just looming all over the place. And the longer it goes on for, the bigger that number's gonna get, and the worse it's gonna get on your frame rate. It's why if you do it like a game like this, you have to turn blood off eventually. Yeah, if you're running that mod, you should be fine. At least you've got that enabled. As long as you have a way to get rid of the blood, it's fine. But on vanilla, it's a big issue. It's why you don't see many people having blood turned on for long games. Because it just chugs. Yeah, PowerPoint. Yeah, PowerPoint's on board, basically, yeah. Big sad. How do I obtain keen hearing if I didn't spawn with it? You can't. You can't earn keen hearing. You either spawn with it or you don't have it. There's no in between. The only traits you can earn are traits related to strength, fitness, and weight. Everything else, you just you can't earn them. You have to buy them at the start or you don't have them. You're gonna suicide the cat or just log out? Unless someone else challenges the record. Ah, oh, no one else is going to. No one else has time. <laughs> no. I'm not gonna, like, even if someone was close to hitting a million kills like myself, I wouldn't, like, hold the game hostage, you know. I'm not gonna keep my save active just so I can one-up someone. Nah, when we get to a million, we'll kill him. That'll be the end of the run, then. Yikes. I hate it when people hold shit hostage. That's really annoying. Good stuff. You learn the power of spears in your most recent game? Yeah. Spears are magnificent. Yeah, as soon as you get used to the one hit animation and you've got that down, piece of piss. Really easy. Best weapon in the game. Living the dream. How big is the save? Uh, I think it's about 2 gig. Is that a gander? What are you on now?
Uh, 100 megabytes. 200 megabytes. 4. 5. 6. 7. 8. 9. A gigabyte. 1.1. 1.2. 1 1.2 gig, currently. Yep, here's a chunky boy. Your current is on 50 days, you're already getting bored. Yeah, it's a sign that you need to make your game harder. Normally, anyway. Gotta have something to keep it interesting. Entertaining part of the game is the beginning. Yeah, the, be the beginning is the most interesting. I think most people would agree with that. But if you're finding that the game gets boring quite quickly for you, especially like 50 days in, like two months, give or take, making the game harder definitely makes things more interesting. You know, as, as soon as you don't have to struggle for things, it does get a little bit boring. But if you've got that constant like threat every single day and you're constantly struggling to stay alive, it's more interesting, I think. When every day is like a bit of a grind to stay alive. I'm looking forward to having harder games after this one, because this game's been incredibly chill. <laughs> yeah, I need something a little bit more challenging. I have introduced myself. You have introduced yourself. This is a very good conversation. Have I found an active PvP server? Uh, if there's nothing on the Discord, I don't know where to look, honestly. There aren't that many PvP servers, honestly, because the PvP in the game's a bit lackluster. So you're gonna struggle finding that, but I'm sure there's something out there. But I don't know of any currently. Hey, mechanic. Hello, hello. Appreciate the follow, Weedy. Well, come on in. You don't even have that much playtime on Zomboid? Yeah, it's why I was saying a second ago, no one's going to try and beat the 1 million kills because it's too much of a time investment. <laughs> Like, like maybe in the future when the, the late game is more interesting, but currently no one really is going to spend like 14, 1500 hours trying to beat this, especially when 42 is so close already. Like the only person I could see actually trying it would be... Oh, who would try and beat it? Probably Gaz. Gaz is like really quick at the moment. He's trying to do 300,000 within one year. So Gaz could probably give it a go, but I don't see anyone else trying, personally. Not at this point, it's too late. Too late in the build. I bet I can do one million in a day. I believe in you. You can do it. <laughs> Molotovs and Louisville spawn. Ah, well, that doesn't count. <laughs> yeah, no one's interested in that. Gotta do it with the vanilla kill count. That's the way to go. Suffer with us.
Yeah, you can use the kill counter mod. Issue with that is no one cares about those runs. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't do it personally because it's a huge waste of your own time. Because there have been people in the past who've done stuff like that, but... Everybody loses interest the second they tell them that they did it with fire, because it's like, oh... Anybody could have done that. <laughs> You know, mod kills them when you look at them. Oh god, could you imagine running into no man's with that? Your frame rate would chug, it'd be hilarious. Oh yeah, there was someone who edited their kill count recently, didn't they? Because they were... They tried to edit their kill count, but they fucked it up and ended up displaying like 2 million kills or something. Yeah, they had like 5 days survival, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was quite funny. Helicopter's was a noob jet. Oh yeah. New players always get slapped by the helicopter the first time around, it's hilarious. Little rite of passage. Everyone's gotta do it. Got a lot of people editing stuff in a cheaty way. I don't think they were claiming it as an actual run, I think they were just fucking around with the kill counter. So I think, ah, uh, someone posted it on my Discord, but yeah, I don't think they were like, being serious, I think they were just messing around with it. You know, fuck massacres, this massive's a horde. Oh, me, myself, and I, but it's self defense, so we're justified. It was self inflicted the moment they chased us. <laughs> what kind of hobby are you gonna have when this run is gone? I do not know. They just walk around zombies. Yeah, new players tend to overthink it and make up this like boogeyman in their head. It's a bit like winter, really. But you can't blame them for thinking it because it does seem a lot worse than it actually is initially. It's like, oh my god, the hell he's going to kill me. But it's like, nah, it's, you can just chill out inside the house if you really want to. Or, you know, like you say, just walk around, just walk away from the zombies. It's the same with winter. Like, winter always seems really imposing the first time, but when winter comes around, it's like, oh. Fishing is slightly worse, and it's a little bit chilly. That's it. <laughs> so, oh, that's pretty chill, actually. Got bitten to death for it. Heli betrayed you. Yeah, the, the heli always seems worse than it actually is, though. Like if the helicopter, like if we had a helicopter turn up now, as an example, I could literally just stay in this room and I'd be fine. No zombies would come to me because they won't path to this room. So all I got to do would, all I would have to do would literally just be sitting on the ground and just chill out. And then in the morning, well, at, in the evening it would be, I'd just run outside. And that'd be it. And then it would just be like day one all over again. Just clear the area. Reset everything and then we're done. Nice and chill.
sparkly and clean. Three hours I rebelled and died? Nah, fair. If it makes you feel better, most people go through that. Most people lose their character within the first, like, hour or two. <laughs> yes. The best rite of passage. You will learn the hard way. Good stuff. Alright, uh, yeah, we're all good. Off we go then. So it becomes easy. Yeah, I mean, once you stop overthinking things, it's pretty chill. It's like I said a moment ago, one of the main issues that people run into with the game is they make up these boogeyman stories in their mind about what something is without actually realizing what it actually is. It's like the helicopter. Oh, it's this big, bad, scary thing that's gonna, like, absolutely fucking decimate me. What is it actually? It's a sound source. It just makes sound as it travels over. Counter it by going upstairs in the house and sitting down. Done. Easy. What's winter? Ah, oh, winter, the landscape gets ravaged by cold winds. I'm gonna struggle to find food. It's gonna be horrible. What is it actually? Slightly colder than usual. Put a jacket on. That's it. <laughs> That's pretty much it. But it's, like, it's the same with everything. It's like with the zombies as well. Ah, yes. Relentless, flesh-eating hordes of the undead. They'll overwhelm me with numbers. How do I beat them? Walk behind a tree and they lose line of sight. Done. <laughs> it's like everything is really simple when you break it down to its most basic form. And everything's just super chill then. It's really relaxed. Yeah, Zomboid is my Zen garden. This is where I come to chill. Secret Minecraft streamer. Right. Yeah, not too many around here.
Hmm, good stuff. And yeah, I'm not gonna bother refueling you. You'll be fine. And yeah, my stamina will be fine in a second as well, because he's sat in the car. The rarest item you could find in the game. Probably the glorious Spiffo statue. You can, supposedly you can find the glorious Spiffo statue via foraging, according to one of the code divers. But the odds of getting it are supposed to be like astronomically low, to the point that if you ever did actually find it, like legitimately, no one would believe you, because the odds are so slim. I don't know how true that is, but he's never lied before, so <laughs> I assume he's telling the truth. But yeah, it's the statue that you can get outside um, of the Spiffo headquarters. Giant, like, 2x2 two two tile statue. Massive thing. But yeah, supposedly you can get that via foraging. I know, lying on the internet? Nah, he's really consistent with the info that he gives. Yeah, let's see how many zombies come out to this area now, then. <laughs> yeah, foraging speedrun. But, uh, uh... It'd be cool to have it. I hope they fix it so that you can actually pick it up, because... They have the little recipe thing to pick it up. The one outside the, the headquarters, but it just won't allow you to. You can't interact with it properly, which kind of sucks, because it looks cool as fuck. What kind of animal is Spiffo? It's supposed to be a raccoon. He's orange, though. He's also cartoon, so there's that. <laughs> Yeah, he's died. Yeah, he's died his head. He's going through his midlife crisis. <laughs> Don't judge him. Spiffo is canonically a redhead, which means he's a ginger, which means he has no soul, and given how he treats you in the tutorial, that tracks, so. <laughs> I think they chose the right hair color for him. Soulless Spiffo. He relishes in our suffering. Yeah, he used to be, yeah, he used to be grey, didn't they? Yeah. I think they made the right choice making him orange, though. The grey Spiffo doesn't... Like, I don't know, maybe it's because I, like, always saw the orange one, but the grey one just doesn't look right. It looks too bland. It doesn't look very good. Can I hold the attack button? Um, only when they're right very next to each other. Like, if they're all spread out, then, you know, I'm gonna click individually. But if they were all, like, right next to each other in one big group, nah, just hold it down. Save myself clicking.
Mm. Hello, Munson. Hello, hello. Appreciate the follow as well, different. Happy days. How many mice have you lost? Oh, this is the second mouse for this run, but... You know. The mouse I had, like, when we started this run was already old. It was already, like, a few years old as it was, but... Yeah, I had to change my keyboard and change my mouse. Part way through this run, because they just started dying on me. The mouse, I think it was the right mouse button. That was going, and my keyboard, it was one of the WASD keys that kept sticking. It wasn't as responsive. And just recently learned you could hold? Oh yeah, it's super convenient, yeah. If you've got like a big group of zombies, it's nice that you can just hold it down. Instead of having to click it for every single one of them. Good stuff. You know, like how there's over 200 people just watching you one tap zombies. Yeah. Nice and chill. Yeah, it's funny because most people here are just here to lurk. And then some of you are here to chat. And then there's a very small couple of like a very small number of people who are here to watch the character die. And I find that part funny, because they don't seem to realize that I can see them in the, like, in the log. I can see when they're in my chat. Well, I can see when they're in the stream. <laughs> and I know they don't like me. <laughs> and I know they're just watching because they want to see the character die. Which is great. It's like, I see you. It's always fun to know that I live rent free in some of their heads. <laughs> Appreciate the hundred as well. Happy days, Euro. I'm gonna become one of those people. Hilarious. Alright. Back off for a minute so I can go top up my stamina. I'm here at the back seat, fucking. Oh, I want to hang myself already. <laughs> Right, let's just get rid of the jacket quickly. Just waiting for a good clip, you know, just waiting there on standby. It'll happen any day now. <laughs> Imagine if his keyboard dies mid-horde. Oh, if that happened, like, we just use a backup save. Yeah, like, if my character died to a bug or it died because my keyboard or my mouse died, so long as I could prove it happened, or at least I knew, like, beyond all reasonable doubt to myself. I got no problem with using a backup for that. Yeah. Fuck accepting that. <laughs> Not losing over a thousand hours of progress because my keyboard dies. That would suck.
wasn't there one yeah i clicked off screen and i died yeah and i was confused initially because i was like what 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 happened why did he stop walking and then we looked at the clip afterwards it's like oh i tapped myself out of the fucking game yeah that was a skill issue <laughs> i couldn't um i couldn't use a backup for that one because like no that was just my fault i'm just a fucking idiot Yeah, because that one was a hundred, no, 297,000 kills. Yeah, sad days. Yeah, skill issue, yeah, 100% done then. Yeah, it has to be a skill issue. But the good news is the game isn't that buggy, like contrary to what some people may say. There are tons of bugs, but there's only like a very small handful that will actually get you killed. Well, get you killed directly, I should say. But once you know where they are, they relatively easy to avoid most of the time. I think the worst one's probably the push bug one where you end up hitting a zombie behind the one you're targeting. That's probably the most common one. There you see, Spears got you killed, yeah. <laughs> Oh, good stuff. Uh, what have I missed? Off-screen one. Yeah, the off-screen one. Yeah, that was my fault. Honorable enough to it. Yeah, like, if I, if I fuck up and I know I fucked up, I'm not going to continue the save and lie about it because it defeats the point of doing it. Like, the whole point of doing the run is to see if I can do better than what I did previously. Because, I mean, there's no leaderboards or anything for the game, so there's no point lying about it, you know. Makes no difference. The barn window- yeah, that was one, yeah. We found that one recently, the barn window one. That's a new one, yeah. I'm wondering- I haven't tested it. I was wondering if it happens on all of the windows as well. Just all of the windows that don't have a window frame put in. So I never got around to testing it. But I was going to have a look at that one and see if it was just that barn specifically or is because the, the barn windows don't have window frames in them. So I was curious about that. You can't just stop listening to your input for a few seconds. Your computer is slow. Rip. Right, no one else. Let's have a drive further south again then and see if we can find some more. Not here for competition trophies? Oh, for completion trophies, yeah. It's all just fun and games. Yeah, just fun to have the big number ticket off the bucket list, yeah. So, I mean, it's probably not the only time I'll do a 1 million kill run. I reckon I'll do one again in the future, but not for a very long time. I reckon the next time I'll do a run of this size will probably be build 43. That's what I'm thinking. Like, all the way through, like, the next update. And then when there's humanoid NPCs, I'll probably think about doing one then. Because if there's a way to, like, recruit NPCs and such, I wouldn't be opposed to doing another long one then. Because then you can hopefully, like, you know, there's no telling what it'll be like, but hopefully you'd be able to build little communities and such in the future. So there'd be more incentive to go for, like, the really long run then. Because at the moment it's just killing, and it does get a little bit boring. Just put it on my resume. I'm not putting it on my resume, I'm putting it on my Tinder profile. 
<laughs> Fucking Tinder and Bio killed one million zombies in Project Zomboid. Send me a message. <laughs> like, cl clearly, like, I'll just use it as an advertisement. Like, see, I've got commitment, you know? I'm boyfriend with- I'm not even boyfriend, I'm husband material. I'm there for the long haul. <laughs> Take me on a date, I'm here for the long game. <laughs> Your crush plays his own boy. Rip. <laughs> you might have seen this. Use it as a bonding experience. Like, hey, do you watch Mr. Lamprey on Twitch? Oh, fuck, no way. I watch Mr. Lamprey too. We should talk about that. <laughs> You've got a key to the front door. You just gotta, like, open it. You know? you got a conversation starter. Exactly, watch together. You have a common interest. <laughs> yeah, imagine having NPCs. Yeah, it's doing all like the, the passive tasks, fishing, weapon crafting, all of that type of stuff. That'd be fantastic. It is very quiet, though. <laughs> yeah, I'll send them... <laughs> push the gameplay's reference. I'll send them, like, I'll put a link to the, uh, the VOD playlist in the bio. <laughs> yeah, go, go watch, go watch my YouTube videos. Tire Razor, we could talk about something. Just don't be a pussy and ask her on a date. <laughs> You're a big boy, I'm sure you can do it. <laughs> oh, I love to go further south. They're taking ages. Ask her on a zombo date. No, ask her on an actual date. <laughs> ask her on a proper date. I mean, presumably, like, I'm assuming you already talked to her, you know? Just ask her on a date like a normal person. All the noise. Well, I'm giving dating advice a lot. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm screaming it with passion right now internally. Ask her on a date, and the only reason I'm saying that is because I remember being a like pussy footing around it when I was young and I was a teenager, and I regret it. <laughs> so I could have saved myself so much fucking time if I just asked them on a date. <laughs> it's like no. I had to pussyfoot around it for like several months, and then when I finally did ask him on a date, oh, they said yeah, they've been waiting the entire time. I was like, oh, I could have saved myself so much fucking effort and time. <laughs> Hello, juice. All the zombies. How's it been? Yeah. Chilling and killing, as always. Crawling my my way up to a million. Very slowly. Uh, 
I have pretty much filled my kill quota for the day, so we're on track. Yep, the sleet continues. What have you been up to there? What's for breakfast? Which towns are cleared? Everything. Everything except for Martridge. So the town that's directly south of us, but everything else is dead. Louisville too? Yeah, Louisville's dead. Louisville was about 300,000 kills? 300 to 350, I think it was. Maybe on Valentine's. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. Singles Awareness Day is coming up, that's a thing. <laughs> First I've heard of that. Why is the song playing? Because my playlist is also trying to hype you up. Ask you on a date. Or at the very least, actually start talking to her. <laughs> Baby steps. It's the sarcastic redeeming of Valentine's Day. I like it. Singles Awareness Day. Might actually start celebrating the holiday. <laughs> We talk. Oh, you're you sorry then. Boom. Ask her on a date. <laughs> Ask her. Get her on. Get her on a date before Valentine's. I'm shy. Well, the worst thing she can do is say no, and call the police, and file a restraining order. You've got this. <laughs> So yeah, just casually just giving some like giving some like fucking dating hype while we're just slaying zombies. How'd you get in my house exactly? Just wait there. <laughs> Seven oh fucking I mean, it's a little bit more than 7 million, but I get the point. I like it. 8 billion people on the planet and you're only asking out one? Pfft. Rookie numbers, you gotta get those numbers up. <laughs> if you're not asking out 30 people a day, what are you doing? Spicy numbers, right? Let's drag some of you guys up north and we'll head home now. Come back down south in the morning. How'd you get my number in? Where'd you come from?
What would be your advice? If you're not found... Oh, if you've not found the one yet? Oh, what, like romantically? I mean, it depends. How badly do you want to get into a relationship? So you're super desperate, you know. Go to a bar. Go hang out with friends. Literally just do anything that's an actual hobby. <laughs> you know. If you want to make it easier for yourself, dating sites definitely help, because you can just literally filter through tons of people who are interested in you and you're interested in them, but yeah. Literally anything that has a hobby, like, could it be classed as a hobby, you just meet new people constantly. You know. Go try something new. Go try surfing, or hiking, or rock climbing, or anything. Literally anything that has people. You just make friends with people. Not really what I'm looking for. Yeah, just go for a hobby then. Try something new. Like, if you're not interested in anyone you currently know, you you need to open up your pool of people. And the only way to open up your pool of people is really just to go somewhere you've never been before. And trying a new hobby is a great way to do that. It can be literally anything. Just find anything that's around in your area. You know? Because, I mean... Ah, oh, fuck. What, what was that where I was? There's like tramp- there's like all trampoline centers, there's rock climbing things, there's leisure centers. There's always people who have like got little clubs and stuff. Just join one of those. Just meet some new people. You know, worst case scenario, you won't find anyone that you'll actually like, but you'll make new friends. You know? Yeah, you need to find something that- Well, you need to find something that makes it easy to talk to strangers without being that weirdo who starts random conversations with people at the bus stop, you know? <laughs> you need something that's gonna let, allow you to talk to strangers naturally and organically, rather than being that guy that waits at the bus stop and goes, Hey, how you doing? <laughs> you waiting for a bus as well? I'm like, yep. It's like, damn shit, we got so much in common, I'm waiting for a bus too. <laughs> yeah, don't be that guy. running. <laughs> He'll be forever known as bus stop guy. You don't want to be that guy. <laughs> Ask a guy if he has a big enough- oh, if he has big enough to transport cops. Oh, you need to find a- you need to find yourself a man who owns a truck. Any form of pickup or van, anything of the sort. Ask him if he, like, owns a collection of shovels. <laughs> You've been crushing on her for like five years? Oh, no, that shit's well overdue. Ask her on a date right now. <laughs> Pull up her phone number like, hey, what are you doing this weekend? It's not that overdue. My God, it's been half a decade, my guy. <laughs> That's an excuse. <laughs> I mean, the only excuse I can think of is if she was in a relationship for that entire time. That's all I can think of. If she was dating someone, fair play. But, <laughs> no, five years, my guy. Oh, you gotta pounce. You gotta pounce on that. Ask her on a date. You know, worst case scenario, if she says no, and you could just go back to being friends. Bring your scenes? What, are you? what have I missed? From experience, most girls are already taken. <laughs> already, we are... We are just friends. Nah. Went to college, it's like 70% of the girls. Know the case. I mean, worst, well, if that's the like, case then, if you ask them on a date, Provided they have good morals, they'll just tell you that they have a boyfriend. In which case, you just go, Oh, cool, I didn't realize. 
well, that's fine. <laughs> that's pretty much it then. <laughs> End of the story. If she made it to winter, I'm asking. <laughs> Ask her what her Zomboid strat is. Ask her if she's an Axe main or if she's a spear player. <laughs> Fuck, not you. Scared that she's listening to this? Well, you said that she she was in the chat earlier. She was in the log. But if she is, cool. Hey ho, that's gonna make it super easy to explain. Then it's like, oh, you'll send her a message. What are you doing this weekend? It's like, oh shit, it's you. You're the guy in Lampy's stream right now talking about me. <laughs> and hopefully she has a good sense of humor. <laughs> Boom. Done. Appreciate the follow as well, Dritz. <laughs> I love random socks. Yeah, I've been incredibly lazy with my socks and my shoes. Shame on me. Let them know men did this. Zero Riz. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Easy player. Made it through winter because I can be your spring. I hate you. I hate you already. <laughs> No more zombie, no more zomboid themed pickup lines in my chat, please. <laughs> my cringe. I can't handle it. I'll crash my car on purpose, I swear to God. I'll wrap this fucker around a tree. <laughs> hello, Ducky, as well. Hello, hello. Yeah, still going. Still slowly getting there. To a barrel, press B to shoot. Yeah, enjoy my sense of humor. Exactly. If they haven't got a sense of humor after this, it's like, oh, they, they weren't even worth asking out in the end. Maybe I'll be the helicopter vent in your gameplay. That doesn't even make any fucking sense. <laughs> I hate baby, I'll be the helicopter in your gameplay because I'll follow you when you don't want me to and I'll constantly scream and make noise. <laughs> so they're not even pickup lines at this point, they're just threats. <laughs> the zombies. Yeah. 
You're like a generator magazine. No, that's a terrible one. But you're like a generator magazine. I'll spend days. I'll be. I'll spend days trying to get you, and then I'll only use you once and never touch you again. <laughs> it's like no, that's a terrible comparison. Don't call them a Jenny mag. <laughs> Endless and tiring. <laughs> Fair. Like a pianist tool, I'll carry you with me to ease my fatigue for years to come. <laughs> See, as funny as that is, the first thing I that comes to mind when you say that is that you're comparing her to an ina inanimate object. <laughs> don't see that going well. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think any zomboid lines would work, personally. There's a hot there's a floor with all of them. That's probably not the best. I think it's one of the best ones I've heard so far though. I think it's like I think that's top tier so far. Yeah, the chat's slowly devolving. You all share one brain cell. It's perfect. This monkey's strong together. Have a rest. Hive mind, but in chat, yep. You couldn't handle me even with strength 10, fitness 10. Fair. Hey baby, you look like a zero to hero build, and I'm not gonna tell you which end you're on. <laughs> Lamper as hell, yeah. <laughs> like, don't understand. I can only pick up women using Zomboid. <laughs> That's the only way. Let's go around flashing my highest score. 
I was like, ah, oh, none of these people seem to understand how long I've survived in Zomboid. <laughs> My best and worst pickup line is, do you like bacon? Oh, the best and worst response is, why would you ask me a question that only has one right answer? <laughs> like, goddamn right I like bacon. It's all... See, that's a good pickup line anyway, because it instantly tells me that you've got good taste. <laughs> like, she likes bacon? Fuck yeah. Imagine the smell. Smells like victory. I can see it here, but I'm writing that down. No, don't use it. It's a trap. <laughs> if she doesn't do a good Zomboid pickup line, is she even worth it? Uh, this is, that's where she like just turns around and asks you, what's Project Zomboid? And that's your cue to leave. Immediately, just no response. Just turn around, leave. Don't explain yourself. He isn't worth it. He doesn't understand. <laughs> What happens after a million kills? Go to base, log out. Nah, we're gonna murder the man. He deserves a good death. Eternal rest. Alright, big numbers. She doesn't even, she doesn't even know what a hotties mag is. Ah. Oh. Oh god, divorce now. <laughs> She's not the woman you thought she was. <laughs> Go level 10 fitness with me. Sorry, babe and daughter. This Twitch man says they gotta divorce you. <laughs> this is just the way it has to be. <laughs> and you can play my stream in the background while you do it if you want to. I'll just... You have to tell me, just like, type it out once you've told them. I'll just like, wave my hand. Let it be so. Let the divorce commence. <laughs> I'll shame your wife and daughter for lying to you. Yeah, that's a question, actually. Why isn't the daughter playing Zomboid? Oh, you you have to get your daughter to play Zomboid now. It's the rule. 
she'll get a head start on us as well. Imagine the, like, imagine how good she's gonna be if she spends all of her childhood just playing this one game. You know, forbid her from playing anything else. No, just Zomboid exclusively. She'll be the best player. <laughs> She's two. Ah, that's a perfect age to start. Her brain is going to mold itself just to be like an efficient Project Zomboy player. She will be the best of us. Good stuff. Yep. Hello, hello, hag. Love the song? Yeah, nice and chill. Chill vibes. Man, she's really good at this one Steam game that came out 32 years ago. Huh? What's the game? <laughs> what Steam? Oh, see, the only problem with that is the what Steam part. You're pretending like Steam isn't gonna, like, overthrow all governments and become, like, a dictatorship that just rules the world in the future. How dare you? All hail Lord Gaben, our lord and saviour. <laughs> See, I hope that I never have kids, personally. Since I, I can already imagine how it's gonna be already. How painful it's gonna feel in the chest when I tell them, like, oh, what did you do when you were my age, Dad? And I was like, oh, I used to stream on Twitch. And it's like, oh, what's Twitch? Oh, it used to be a streaming platform. It's like, okay. And what did you use to stream? Oh, well, I used to be one of the best players at a game called Project Zomboid. And I'll show them it. And they'll look at it and going, This is shit, Dad. What the fuck are you showing me? This looks terrible. It's gonna be like Marty McFly in Back to the Future when he shows the kids how to use the, the arcade machine. And it's like, oh, you actually have to use buttons? This is a baby's game. <laughs> I'll never have kids just for that. I refuse to experience that. I refuse to have any children that are gonna shit over my, my hobbies currently. I'm gonna big brain it. My future kids cannot make fun of me if I never have any in the first place. I'm gonna correct the future. <laughs> Why do you waste your time one tapping pixelated low poly zombies? You don't understand, son. It's about getting the big numbers. <laughs> You understand when you're older, son. I can already see it now. Like they they're gonna grow up playing like VR games constantly. That's gonna be like their media. So VR simulated games, it's all that's just what they're gonna play with. And I'll show them this, and they'll be like, wow, you actually have to look at a monitor? Fucking this is ancient. <laughs> what type of old tech is this dad? player only yeah can't have kids it's gonna draw away from my marathon time <laughs> having kids will make me less efficient at playing project zomboid and therefore i shall have no kids it's all about min maxing
Let's go have a quick rest. <laughs> you mean have to share the loot? Inefficient. No. Put the kids up for adoption. Solo play only. <laughs> I refuse to share my loot with them. It looks ugly. It's like, okay, bedtime for you. <laughs> oh, funny stuff. Yeah, disrespect the board. Yeah, disowned immediately. I have no son. on the wild early. <laughs> I believe that's called child neglect. <laughs> it's like, what did you do? It's like, why did you drive your son out into the middle of the woods and kick him out of your car? I was trying to make him into a great warrior. <laughs> you don't understand, officer. I was trying to make him a good Soulboy player. <laughs> My methods may be unorthodox, but they get results, goddammit. Plenty of zombies. Pulling out random buildings. I've died there before, yeah. <laughs> I would, if I had a family, I would unironically take them to Louisville. Just so I could look at the city. Have no interest in anything else, just to like, take them there and be like, oh, you see that street there? That used to be a really good base location. <laughs> So that was optimal, because you have a tall fencer, you see. And then you could funnel the zombies down I this road. I have introduced myself. You <laughs> have introduced yourself. This is a very good conversation. You have to hit, yeah, hit the cardboard box on the way. <laughs> hey, sarcastic. Hello, hello. The kid hunts you down. Yeah, he's got a vow of revenge. I have returned. Look up at my son after he stabbed me in the chest and I'm bleeding out. I'll look him dead in the eye and just whisper, You will be the one to surpass me. And I'll smile and die. It'll be very melodramatic. And then he'll look at my corpse, my hand will open, and he'll find a USB stick there containing my last Project Zomboid safe, and he'll continue my legacy. He'll pick this game up where we end it. <laughs> he'll play it on build 50. My son will make me so proud. Still so many of you. Build 50 after my death is concerning. Oh yeah, the decades, decades into the future. Yeah, and all the members, all the dev team from the Indie Store, and I'm pretty sure they're all older than me as well, so they'll all be there. All hunched over, all pensioners, still coding away. <laughs> I'm gonna be in my late 40s. <laughs> hey, it's another katana. Pretty sure that's the third katana we've seen today. Nice. 
can't inherit the, inherit the katana, but he will. Glorious. See what I never will. Reloading ten dies. Yeah. <laughs> Let's finish my work, son. I've got time though, so let's go back and grab some more. And I probably ditched a bunch on the end as well. <laughs> we added new doorknobs. Uh, you say that as a piss take. If they added new doorknobs, I'd be hyped, okay? <laughs> more base customization? Fucking sign me up. I'm in. I'm already invested. Another color to flowers, too. nice and sure and I don't actually yeah, I don't actually need that many more kills either I think I'll do one more game day though so I'll kill what we got here go to sleep come out do one more day of killing and that'll put me a little bit over the 7,000 mark then nice and tidy Is it worth using any other weapon this far into the run? No. Spears are objectively the best at this style of gameplay, like killing the most zombies every single day. But we've used everything, I've maxed out everything, but there's no point using anything else because they're all just inferior. They're all slower. And because we've done pretty much everything else and we're just trying to finish the game currently, the only thing I really need to prioritize is just killing as many zombies as possible each day just to get to a million nice and quick. How many hours in the save? It's about 14, 1500. Very nice stats. What's your end goal? Kill a million zombies and get everything to level 10. So. Not that far off now. Getting there. Yeah, everything else is done. So it's just getting another 133,000 kills and... Finding a little bit of extra shotgun ammo from cops. And that's it then. We've won. Because there's nothing really to do beyond that point except for just killing more zombies. But the thing is, a million's a really good milestone. And there's nothing really to achieve after a million, you know? I could go for two million, but it's like, it'll double my playtime and it, it's just not as impressive as a million. 
You know. Yeah, one million kills has a nice ring to it. How many times have you died? Oh, we've had one bug kill us. Yeah, no, Alive is correct on that. If you have no player deaths, we've had one glitch that ruined the game a little bit, which isn't ideal, but it is what it is. But because it was a bug, we used a backup, but that was year three, I think. Doesn't count. Yeah, it's nice to acknowledge it, though. I'm not going to sweep it under the rug. It happened. Like, <laughs> I don't have any issue with telling people. It's like, no, we've been killed by a bug on this run once. I've had a glitch ruin the game a little bit, but you know. That's why you use backup saves. That's why you make sure to backup your game semi-frequently. But apart from that one bug, it's not too bad. And we've made no player mistakes, you know, so... It's almost a perfect run. Almost. What bug was it? Oh, uh, we had an issue with targeting. So it forced my character into a ground attack, which is really dumb. Because it shouldn't have happened regardless, because the key binding isn't set for it. So it doesn't make any sense why it did what it did. But you can have a look at it. If you go to clips, it's one of the featured ones. Um, it was Periwinkle who clipped it. It's called a sudden death. But if you have a look at that one and play it in slow-mo, you'll see him do a ground animation when he shouldn't. Which is a bit bizarre. Excuses. Well, you can believe that if you want to. I'm not going to try and convince you otherwise. Appreciate the follow as well, DSM. Happy days. much better than uh, lying about those kind of things. Yeah, it just looks sus if you try and bury it under the rug. It's like, no. It's like, does it count as an actual death? No. It's like, bugs are fair game to use backups on. But there's no point trying to hide it and bury it, because it just looks like you're trying to hide something, man. <laughs> it's like, why don't you want to talk about it? It's like, nah. It is what it is. Ground stab when they're no- yeah, there's no ground zombies. Because we had two right in front of us, like actual zombies, but they weren't jumping over the fence. Because if you look at it in slow-mo, you'll see there's a hole in the fence where they can walk through. It just doesn't make a lot of sense. It's cooked? Yeah. But nah, it is what it is, though, but... There's not many bugs in the game that are like that, and they normally get patched out quite quickly. So it's not worth crying over. It's like, oh, yeah, it is what it is, but... Because I'm super paranoid about shit like that happening, I back up my game after every stream, just in case, so I don't lose too much progress if we have to do stuff like that. But yeah, it's the only time we've had to do it on this run, though. Because we've had a, we've had the game delete zombies, which is a bit of a bummer. Like, I've lost about 10 or 20,000 zombies that it's just deleted. Because the issue is, we logged out when we were next to a group of zombies, but the game doesn't like logging you back in next to a big group. So, like, if my game crashed here, for example, or I logged out, it would just delete all of these zombies. So we've had that happen once or twice, which kind of sucks, but... Nothing that was worth using a backup to restore them for. Just have to do a perfect run without bugs. Yeah, I mean, I'll do it in the future, yeah. I, I definitely want to actually do that. <laughs> like, not even taking the piss. I will do another run in the future. Because... I always like going for the next stage up and doing, like, a perfect, perfect run. No bugs, nothing like that. That'd be great. But I'm not going to do it anytime soon, because, you know, we've just done one. Yeah. Maybe in build 43, when they add NPCs, I'd like to do another million kill run. But when there's more 
late game content to play with. Let's run back now because it is 10 o'clock. It's one of the most impressive things I've seen people doing this. I oh, appreciate it. Probably thought that it was a crawler. Yeah, it doesn't make a lot of sense, though. I mean, we've come up with theories on why it ha why it occurred, because there are, like, targeting bugs and such. But it's the fact that they weren't on the ground at all. And it's like, okay, even if they were on the ground, I don't have auto ground detect on, because it's just worse than playing with manual. So you can you can change your settings so that you have manual manual ground attacks or auto detect. Auto detect will just target things on the ground unless there's a zombie next to you that stood up. So it doesn't make any sense why it would do it. And I tested my keyboard afterwards to make sure it wasn't the misclick. And it's like no, the old key's fine. So yeah, but kind of sucks because it it's put a bit of a stain on the run. It's not perfect now, which kind of like. Is a bit of a bummer, but you know, it is what it is. Like, I can't undo it, so it's like, fuck it, it's fine. <laughs> I got a scratch in my in my nice car. Pretty sure the follow as well, Ducker. Happy days. You also had to do it when you had a setting off. It isn't just lamprey. Yeah. What? Where were you when yours happened? Then, like, what? Were you near a fence as well, or did you have a zombie on the ground? Like, because I've been trying. Like, we've gone through the variables variables before, but I'm still like a bit annoyed at that one. <laughs> I know. Ah, oh, I think it was either you or Bonds. I sent me a clip of someone doing it as well. Appreciate the followers were blood rice. Happy days. Still impressive, bug or not? Oh, I've had like that conversation before as well. Because there are some people that get annoyed if you use backups under any circumstances. But it's like, if we went under the hypothetical scenario that it was a bug and I did actually lie about it. I've still killed like 500,000 since then, <laughs> so it's like, it doesn't make any sense to lie about it, because I could have just caught up to myself if I started a new game, you know? I'd be on like 500 and... Uh, fuck, what was I on? 330 at the time? So yeah, I'd be on like 537,000 kills now. So it wouldn't make any sense to continue the run when I could just start a new one and still go for a high score, just without any of the hassle of like people calling it fake. Or bullshit. <laughs> but yeah, and yeah, it's for fun as well, so it doesn't make any sense to lie about it. So, I mean, there's no incentive to really lie about things like that, because all the high scores are p personal achievements, so you're just bullshitting yourself. So it's like, what's the point? Because <laughs> you know, if you, if, like, if you lie about it, you know it's bullshit, so it's like, why? Because no one else really cares, because as cool as it is to hit a million, no one else really cares if I hit a million. It's a personal pest. Personal high score. Did you kill this character off? Oh yeah, if it's a player mistake, absolutely. Yeah, no, we don't continue games if it's a player mistake. Because I've had characters in the past that have died because I fucked up. And we've looked at the clip afterwards and it's like, oh yeah, it's very clear that I made a mistake and it wasn't anything to do with the game. And it's like, fuck. Those games just come to an end. Because there's no point continuing them then. Yep. 
Yeah, it's not that. But the devs have already said as well, I think, they're not doing any leaderboards, which is kind of for the best, because it's too easy to, like, fuck with your survival time and kill counter. Like, it's too easy to edit those things and, like, fake runs. So those of us who do go for high scores just do it in jest. It's just for fun. No serious competition. It's just a bit of banter between those of us who like going for, like, the longer runs. Because there's still quite a few of us hanging about. Like, Ali's one of them. Ali's got... God, I'm trying to remember. Your run was 240? I think. 243, yeah, that's the one, yeah. And there's Gaz, who's getting close to 300, I think. Mark Martins is on another 200,000 run, I think. First on Fire still has his 350, I think? He's on 300 and something. There's another guy, I think he's a Portuguese streamer. He's on like 300-ish. Um, fuck. I'm trying to think if there's anyone else I've missed. Who's over like 100,000. I think that's most of them. Yeah, there's still quite a few marathon players hanging around. Sneeze and, uh... Oh, the sneeze one actually survived, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the one where I sneezed and I didn't pause my game, he actually survived the wound. That was the same character who died when I tapped myself out of the game. So, he survived the two lacerations that he got when I sneezed and I, like, got munched on. And I think it was a couple of months later, uh, I tabbed myself out of the game when we were near Muldra on the highway. <laughs> yeah, same character. Good stuff. It's been surpassed by Mark recently. Oh, good stuff. What's Mark on currently? Because I know he's over 200, but I don't know what the exact number is. They're all burning out. Yeah, it's just everyone's waiting for 42. Has anyone else ever... Oh, anyone else? Has anyone ever... Oh, ever got to a million? No. The next highest one that I know of is Twist on Fire. So I have this run, which is on either 530,000 or it's on 867, whichever way you want to look at it. And then Twist on Fire has a 300 and... I'm pretty sure it's 350. I'm sure it's 350. And then, yeah, then you have everyone else I just mentioned as well, because they've all got games going on currently. Mark is on 255. Two, oh, 255, 260. Fair. All right, let's go for one last day of killing. Oh, is it 342? Oh, I swear it was 350. <laughs> I'm off by a little bit then. That was the run that made you start watching. Oh, the tab incident. Yeah. Oh, it's because if, if you rewatch that clip where I tabbed myself out of the game, you'll see my cursor go up and I was going to... Like, it looks like I was going to open my health tab. But because it was during a 24-hour stream, you see my, my mouse just go off the screen like that very briefly. <laughs> and it's like, oh, fuck. Skill issue. Yeah, big sad. He's not playing the marathon. Nah, Twist on Fire's been off for a while because I think he was burning out as well, he said. Well, no, that's fair. It'll be fine, though. Everyone's had, like, a pretty big break, so everyone's going to be, like, nice and refreshed when 40, uh, 42 drops. Right. Hopefully we'll have a decent number. So we should be able to get at least, let's say, five, seven hundred kills. Yeah, 
Yeah, get up to like 7,500, 7,700-ish. That'd be good. And then tomorrow we can hopefully try and get up to like 875 or there, thereabouts. Good stuff. Even if it does get tedious, oh, tremendously so. Yeah, it's very tedious at this point, but nearly done. Nearly finished. <laughs> yeah, because I wouldn't put myself under this sufferance otherwise. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking forward to the end. Nice. Once we're done with this run, we can start doing sprinters on a more consistent basis then. Which will be very good. Getting close. Ah, oh, I appreciate the support, but I was nowhere near. <laughs> yeah, because bonsais is um. Ah, oh, fuck! I forgot what bonsais is. It's a few thousand more than what I had. I think I was on five thousand, and I think his is six or seven thousand. And then animals is just all the way up at fifteen. Yeah, I was miles off. Spear counter break? Nope. It only gets updated when we make them, and it's done manually. Yikes. There's no way to, like, set up an automation, well, an automatic one, uh, for when they break. Yeah, Lethal Company took him for- yeah, he was doing the speedruns, wasn't he? Yeah, I think he was on third place? I can't remember how many quotas he had to do, but yeah, he was in third place for one of them. Chipping away down here. Oh, 
<laughs> hello, Mal. Hello, hello. <laughs> only three million. Yeah, only three million zombies away. Yeah, definitely gonna kill everything. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, going for one million. It was all a ruse to throw you off the scent. I'm actually gonna try and kill everything on the map. This run's gonna be seven thousand hours by the time we finish it. <laughs> Good stuff. Oh, rip. And to wipe us here if all the zombies are killed? Yeah. The game wants to cause migration, but there's nothing left to migrate. It shuts down. Alex, sheer confusion. Big sad. have <laughs> accidentally sleep oh, i click that one all the time i'm so happy they have a like confirmation window afterwards the amount of times i click on sleep by mistake is like stupid like every stream <laughs> i'm always rushing through that menu and i always end up clicking on it No, I'd be fine. Because he's not fatigued, he wouldn't sleep for that long, so he'd only be asleep for like... Well, at this point, he'd be sleeping for maybe like three hours-ish, give or take. So the dead bodies wouldn't kill him, but... Because he's... Well, to be fair, he wouldn't even sit down, he has to stand up to sleep. No, he'd be fine, even if I clicked on it by mistake. Because even if the zombies saw me while I'm sleeping, they can't kill you while you're sleeping. So all I would have to do would be just holding shift. Hold shift, run immediately while, I, immediately while I wake up, and he'd be fine. He'd wake up at like, you know, 3, 4 in the afternoon. And I might have to bump into like one or two zombies that have found me while I'm sleeping, but as long as it wasn't like a tremendously large group, we'd be fine. Need a hotkey. Oh, to sit and rest, that would be convenient, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to apply it. Yeah, we will not be testing it. <laughs> I refuse. I believe my information regarding that is com like 99.9% .9 correct, but I'm not willing to risk this character to prove a point. <laughs> yeah, if he did die, I'd feel like such an asshole. <laughs> I refuse to test it. Oh, 
Not that many left. Let's grab all of you then. Aphrodite. Oh, she's further south. We drove her down there uh, earlier. And we got a big old group of zombies, which is what we're killing now. So she should be clear. Although she is a little bit fucked up. She had one of her rear tires explode today. So I've got to replace that at some point. watch me do a battle roll with my car through West Point. Yeah, I haven't really done any testing lately because there's just nothing really worth testing at this point. Just because Build 42 is so close. It's like, oh, I don't really have any information I want to learn at this point just because, like, most likely it's all going to change in the next update. <laughs> it's like, oh, can't be bothered anymore. <laughs> I'm curious, but I'm not that curious anymore. It's like, ah. Oh. Well, the second the build 42 comes out, ah, oh, just all the testing, everything, all the debug. Too many left, it's just just grab all of you. stuff. The 
car should be pretty much empty now. But we still got plenty of time, so we'll drive a little bit further south, see if we can lure some more out. At the very least, I can get them all gathered up for tomorrow. stuff what are we looking forward to i mean i'm looking forward to the performance updates more than anything else and the lighting as weird as that is see everything else looks awesome but having the game run smoother and having the better uh lighting as well it looks very spicy what's the plan to die of the million probably yeah I'll kill him off at one million and sixty-nine. <laughs> That's the perfect number. Yeah, I'm not gonna hang on to him. Though the second that we get over a million, as long as I have my my level ten aiming, we're golden. End of the game. Is there? If my skills are all done to level 10 and we've hit a million kills, there's nothing really left to achieve, you know? The only thing really after that is just to kill every zombie on the map, but there's like four and a half million of them. So there'll be like three and a half million remaining, so it's like, ugh, that's not gonna happen, it's too many. Hey, it's Wickhammer. Hello, hello. <laughs> One million four... four hundred and twelve... ah, well... 42,069 for... To be fair, that's not too far over a million. Maybe, maybe we will. That is... Tempting. <laughs> Things are looking good? Yeah, it's all pretty chill. And we're back to the grind again. Slowly closing in on 900. How goes the streaming on your end? Weapon of mass destruction, just give me a nuke. Just let me equip a nuke to my back. Looking forward to seeing the 1 million mark? Yeah, slowly getting there. Gotta do a special stream when you're close. Bring the crew over to watch, yeah. I have to make it a little, uh, a little tiny event. Yeah, it's going to be very, very spicy. Like, honestly, I'm just looking forward to the ending, personally, at this point. <laughs> Been waiting for this run to reach a natural conclusion for a while now, so it's going to be very nice. Because I want to do some sprinters after this, but um, how's your long dark themed run going at the moment, then? 
It's been a while since I've seen it. I haven't had a chance to pop in. How's that one going? some things having fun messing around that's fair got to come by and try and catch one of your streams when you're next on yeah but let me give you a shout out while you're here as well because if you haven't seen Wickhammer before Wickhammer is someone who's been around for a very long time i think he's been around just as long as i have more or less yeah but yeah definitely worth following Nice chill vibes. If you like anything I do, you'll definitely like what he does over there. Very spicy. PZ. Yep, follow for sure. Yeah, he's got like a perpetual winter theme going on at the moment. No, because you're doing it in Raven Creek, aren't you? Like, well, you're doing it in Raven Creek and you're doing it blind as well. Like, you haven't actually explored it before, which is very spicy. Let's grab a few of you. about your run the other day oh, okay for uh, discipline and fortune <laughs> like ah yes i make only the best decisions clearly <laughs> yes best decisions in game the worst irl but yeah slowly getting towards the finish line but, um Nah, I got time. We'll kill a few more of you. Got time for like one or two more groups. Yeah, it's good. We've been saying here, once uh, 42 gets released, it'll be quite good. Because you know how a lot of us like to go for the high scores and the high survival times. But when 42 comes out, we can just start with a fresh slate then. Start from zero. Highest survival time, zero. Highest kill count, zero. But build 42. And then we can all just have a little fun little race to see who can do what in the next build. 
Yeah, a clean book, yeah. It's always nice to like start from scratch when there's a new like, big update. So it'll be fun then, because at the moment the survival time and the kill count like scores for like 41 is so astronomically high that no one else can really jump in at the moment. So it's gonna take way too much time, but if we start from scratch again, it'll be fun, because it's anyone's game at that point. Awesome. I'll be slow and steady with 42. Fair. Yeah, I probably won't jump into a long game like straight away with 42. I'm probably just gonna do like lots of short term testing stuff. Just fucking around with like individual game mechanics for a little bit. Is it how to see the changes to Spears? Yeah, because it's gonna be quite interesting. Like, charring the ends of the spears and such, and then all the other new variations they have. Yeah, it's gonna be quite interesting. Just a f just- f Oh, a fourth on record of Bill 41? Yeah, if, uh... I go uh, from unstable. Or will I go from right from unstable or wait for the steel bench? Oh no, straight to unstable. Yeah. Yeah. Build forty two when it gets released is going to be on the unstable branch on day one when it drops, and it's probably not going to go to stable for like at least like in my mind at least half a year. Like they don't have any like preset date preset dates or anything, but like if it's going to be anything like forty one was, forty two is probably going to be in the unstable branch for like at least like half a year if not longer minimum but i wouldn't be surprised if it's there for like at least a year yeah i'd be bug mashing for quite some time yeah so that's what 41 was like and they were still dropping like really good updates but no it'll be fun regardless It'd be really good fun. Because the amount of stuff they've shown for 42, it looks fucking awesome. Getting like build 41 vibes all over again. Do you, do you like remember when they were teasing it with like all the 3D models and such? And it's like, oh shit, hype train. Everything's changing. <laughs> 42 feels like that currently. It's like, uh, so many things are changing. It's like, uh, the maintenance and crafting, repairing system, that's all changing. New towns, new cities, that's all changing. Floor limits changing, basements are added, there's new cars as well. It's like, oh. And the new skills as well, that's all changing. There's blacksmithing as well, you got kilns and all that stuff. And the base building's being expanded upon as well. There's a f whole new fluid system and a whole change to how electrical's gonna work. It's like, oh, there's. I haven't even named like half of it, I think. I've missed tons of stuff. Like, there's so many stuff, uh, so many things coming into the next patch. So yeah, I keep saying that I'm not like super hyped for it. I'm like, I'm just waiting for it. No, I am super hyped for it. I'm just <laughs> trying to lie to myself. But yeah, it's going to be really good. Really good. Really wondering uh, what will happen. Oh, what will ha become of Raven Creek? I mean, they'll probably just change the cells for it, I guess. I'm not sure what you would call it, sales chunks, I don't know what the modding, like the map modding terms are for it, but they'll, personally whoever made Raven Creek will probably just move it to a different location. That's what I expect anyway. Because where it is currently, it does look like it's going to conflict with something they're already putting there, so. I assume that some of the mod maps, because they've got to be updated anyway, they're just going to be moved to different places. Presumably.
Already in you're already in love with the new city. Fair. Nice structure in place to make it really easy. Yeah, because they mentioned it briefly that they just need to update it. Yeah. Yeah, it should be fine. Right, let me hop on into bed. And I've been on for eight hours, so you know what that means. That is my cue to skedaddle. Go get some food. But yeah, I appreciate you guys joining, as always. Nice and chill vibes. And I will be back tomorrow. For those of you who are new, I am on Monday to Friday from 1000 onwards, and that is GMT plus one, or British Summertime. But yeah, let's go find somebody to read. Let's see who else is on the board. Let them know men did this. Yes, all my mortal men. And today we did just about 7,500 kills, so we did good today. We did a nice little chunk. And then tomorrow we'll hopefully do another seven, seven to 8,000 as well. Slowly getting there. But yeah, let's see who's online. Who do we have? Um, who have I not raided for a while? And who's also on the board? Mark Myers is on the board, but I raided him last week or the week before. <laughs> uh, oh, here we go. Alto Funk is on. Let's go raid Alto. He has got a magnificent beard. I don't get beard envy too often, but goddamn, the man has got like fucking winter beard vibes going on. It looks awesome. <laughs> Alright. I will catch you all tomorrow at 10. Happy days.